Hello, welcome to Quackalope. Thank you for being here. Today we're bringing you a gameplay video of Heroes of Might and Magic 3, the board game. Coming from Archon Studios and well, Ubisoft. the video game designer Ubisoft. Uh, Wes Todd. Yes. We're working with a prototype here. We are. So we don't have all the fancy extra bits and pieces. This is correct. But we do have just enough to give the audience a flavor of how this game exactly. functions and runs. We have very pretty tiles, some nice minis, some interesting dice. Some interesting dice. For those of you that are fans of the video game and potentially coming over into the board game space because you're fans of the video game, first off, welcome. Thanks mm. for being here. We're yeah. a channel called Quackalope. We're a little adorable duck with horns and we do a lot of board game content and there's a ton of things crossing over into the board game space and I'm insanely excited to be covering and talking about this title. Now, you're going to notice a lot of things that are similar when it comes to what they've tried to do, but I think they've actually incorporated the video game uh, concept, yeah. the video game application, into a tabletop setting in a way that makes it accessible, mm -hmm. fairly easy to get into, but there's a lot of depth when it comes to like the magic cards that you're upgrading, the strength cards that you're getting, and the way that you start building out your squad that's actually going to combat and fighting amongst each other. And you're still getting to do your exploration and all those types of things yeah. that make the video game so much fun. Now, so, a lot of it's all there. This, this version of the game is always going to be a scenario-based system. So you can either play cooperatively as two verse an AI system, or like we like to play... Everyone for themselves, Everyone I kill Jesse. themselves, Wes does his very best to kill me. Mm -hmm. Literally in the first game that we played off camera, I think the third or fourth move you made? It was my third action. It was my third action. It was great. It was glorious. Third wonderful. action involved attacking yep. me. And I was peacefully trying to reach a monastery and then go to a giant tree to go ahead and replenish and upgrade my own stats. Yeah, you snooze, you lose, okay? You snooze, you lose. So, Heroes of Might and Magic. Mm -hmm. What are we doing in this game? You want to set up the scenario we're playing and then yeah. let's go through some of the, the basic rules uh, and then go ahead and get started because... In our gameplay videos, for those of you that are not familiar with how this works, we're working with a prototype. We're working with prototype rules. We're doing our best to, to make sure that we get everything as accurate as possible with the context that a lot of things are probably going to be changed between the time you see this video and actually get the game into your hands. So this is not a teaching video. We might make some rules mistakes along the way, but our objective is to have a good time mm -hmm. and to show you how the game feels as you play it, the, the functionality of it. So, West. So what are we doing? Our scenario is that we've been undercover for a very long period of time and we're now rising back up to take over the lands that we once ruled. Uh, so our goal is to cover and take over five mining locations. Now those could be traditional mines, they could be gem mines, uh, they could even be an alchemist lab. So there's lots of opportunities and ways for us to uh, condition mines. But the first one to five, uh, the other player gets to finish their turn, then we both take one more turn and then that will be the end of the game. If we can't get to five controlled before the ninth round, the ninth round will also be the end of the game. Because that's when the darkness summons forth from the chasms below and we actually get enveloped by the mines and the refuge that exists within them? Uh, no, that's just the timer that the game put on itself. Oh. Uh, but there are some uh, other enemies that we will be fighting along the way. Uh, anytime yeah. we try to take over something, it's usually owned by a non-player character currently. And uh, that'll be entertaining because guess who gets to control those non-player characters? The other person. Yay! Now, you could technically play this with the non-player characters not being controlled by the other person, being controlled by an AI deck or supporting deck. Ugh, the rulebook the did give us the option in a two-player game to actually take charge of the other attacking units, and I think that's more entertaining. Way more fun. Because it lets us bully each other just a bit more. So, Huzzah. when you're looking at the map here, you're going to see the tiles that we're going to be exploring. There's a lot of nuance on each one of these tiles, so we'll actually walk you through all the locations as they come out by referencing the rule book. Mm -hmm. I do want a nice handheld player aid by oh, the end definitely. of this, but you usually don't have that in a prototype because things are still shifting, right? Exactly. We have two different decks of cards on the edge here. We're going to have our relics or our, mm -hmm. our special items or special weapons, and we're going to have our magic items or our magic abilities like spells. You'll notice they all have the same back because as we gain them, they'll go into our hand and then get shuffled into our deck that we'll start cycling through. So there's a little bit of deck crafting or deck mm -hmm. building in the course of this play. We have our characters, along with a horde of potential creatures mm -hmm. uh, that we could recruit. So for instance, I have a whole pathway of potential recruitment in my own, in my own- uh, Including amazing dragons. <laughs> including- because, what, What's a game like this without dragons? Because seriously. Including a ghost dragon. And 
the vast majority of your characters are going to have a front and back side. Yeah. You can see the little hashtag there that actually makes them uh, have been upgraded. Hashtag lots. And what's nice about that is you actually get a little bit more buff or defense because mm -hmm. you're moving with more of a mob than a single unit. Yep. But one unit can stand against an army if it needs to. I have some resources, I have my starting characters, I have my unit itself, and I also have an ally miniature. Now, yeah, the miniature sculpts on these are excellent. Yeah, they I'll are. I'll be honest about that. These look really, really good. And if you're excited to see, I, I can't wait to see the amount of different miniatures they have uh, because the sculpting is some of the best when it comes to the detail on the ground, like the bones and the lattice work here, this like skeleton leaning up against uh, They paid a lot of attention to detail on a lot of those different yeah. minor things that, a lot, that many places don't think of, but they really did a great job. So the sculpting looks excellent, but I have my major character, which is actually going to be Sandro here, the necromancer, and then I have my minor character who comes into play if I want to hire him, but is not as defensive and can't use any of my special powers. Mm -hmm. uh, my character here, Sandro first studied necromancy under the tutelage of the wizard, and later the lich, Etheric. Sandro has been nearly has been through nearly all of Enroth and Erathiria, and, and now serves Finnis Vilmar, leader of the necromancers of Deia. So yes. I'm to service of the greater good, which of course is revivifying the undead. I'm not sure if that's the greater good. I way. have my basic personal stats. Every time I uh, actually defeat things and creatures in, in combat, mm -hmm. I'm going to be leveling up, which will give me access to more powerful cards, more better abilities, etc., etc., etc. And I have my general resources. We're going to have a day and night cycle in a way, or a day and day cycle in a way. Yeah, it's a resource round and then an astrology round, yeah. so they go back and forth. Which keeps track of like how the actual flow of the game is, so I'll only be collecting resources every other round, and we'll have a deck of uh, astrology cards mm -hmm. that could have positive or negative consequences depending on what we draw. Absolutely. Along with that, one thing that I do want to explain about a few of these cards. So I have a handful of starting cards here. Some of them are going to be powers, mm -hmm. like the attack. And the little crown that's on my upgrade symbol here on my track uh, will actually indicate to you when you're able to play the more powerful version of the cards. Mm -hmm. At level two here, I'll be able to play one. At level four, I'll be able to play two. And mm -hmm. at level five, I'll be able to play three of those cards on my given turn. Along with that, I have some relics or items in my hand, like mm -hmm. this, for, for instance, is one of my special abilities. It'll let me turn one of my undead mobs, one of my undead lots, into a full unit of people wearing the Cloak of the Undead. Yeah, so it gives you like another life on top of the life that you already have. Kind of like a, a mob of three, right? Like yeah. one leader on top of a mob on top of a single unit. Exactly. Uh, I also have some special abilities like my sorcery card. Again, this is going to be a custom card specifically for myself. And it also has an extra power to it. And then finally, I'm going to have a few things like magic cards, like this magic arrow that I have. These usually relate with playing cards that have... Uh, that fancy little book power symbol, That's that relates with the strength of the magic that you're gonna be casting. And as you can see here, zero, I'll do one damage, one magic power, I'll deal two damage, and two magic power, I'll deal three damage, or I could just play this as a power card in, a, in and of itself to help some of my other spells do better. Mm -hmm. uh, I will only have four cards in my hand at the start of the game, and uh, the rest of these will need to be shuffled up. Finally, before West goes through his character, uh, and what special abilities and actions you have. This board here uh, may end up being more modular and different in the version of the game that you see. In our two-player version, we've made the decision for the sake of filming to actually bring our units off of our personal player board mm -hmm. and just leave this battle map here. Now, when you're playing with more characters, it does seem like these maps might extend into mm -hmm. larger units. It also seems like you might have your own personal board that you pull things off of and leave some status effects, leave some cards, leave some some right. different positioning that you've made. We're not doing that in this gameplay. Uh, it's it's one of those things that for a two-player head-to-head, we thought this would be the cleanest way because we are going to be controlling the AI characters. Correct. And we want to be able to sub them in and out here without dancing back and forth. Yep. So keep that in mind. This part might... The battling's going to be the same, but the application of the terrain that we're playing in might actually be different and more strategic. All right, West, who are you playing and what's going on? Okay, so I am playing Mature. Uh, she is part of the clan here that is the, uh, the Dungeon Crawling Clan. So with her uncanny talent for her commanding dragons on the field of combat, many have noticed Mature's 
quick rise among the current overlords of Nahaim. Nice. And uh, she has the ability called Tactics here, which will allow her uh, during combat and before the activation of any unit, I can actually switch the position of two of my uh, units so that way I can, I don't necessarily have to do as much traveling and walking uh, and no one's going to get caught out in the battle. She also takes care of dragons, that's her special thing. So uh, I have a special power that allows me to uh, add one attack to a unit, but if I do that add one attack to a dragon, it actually doubles the attack value, so it's even better. It's pretty good. Yep, once I can get dragons, it takes a little while to get there, they're kind of expensive. Yeah, and just like me, you have a primary character and also a secondary character, so yep. we both could have chosen to have played as Might or Magic, I believe. That is correct. I felt it would be best if one of us plays as Might and the other plays as Magic, and since and I, I had am the option more for a Necromancer, and I figured uh, we the, would go with that. The other side of my character card actually is a Warlock, and focuses on resurrection and healing during his time. Nice. So I decided, nah, that's not nearly as much fun as Brute Let's Strength. just, because I know we're going to be showing B-roll as well, but I just want to, like, set these down for a second just to give the audience the detail on these sculpts and, like, the horse positioning and everything. It is really, yeah, it really, really well done. Now, Especially that one, because you can see all the bones and stuff in the actual the horse The sinew itself. of the, like, the rotten cool. horse. Now, I do know these are resin, so the detail might not be quite as fine when it comes to the actual printing, but I was really impressed when I first started looking at these sculpts. Mm -hmm. um, I can't get over just like, look at the tucked detail in his face. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah, they, they did an incredible job. These, these are yeah. very well sculpted pieces. Looks really lovely. All right, West Todd, shall we venture forth? We shall. Into this battle, we're both going to be starting off we'll at start our home base. start off on our big castle. Base. Yep. Which is fantastic. Super excited to start at my home base. Go ahead and uh, let's grab that rule book there. Yep. So we can show people what we're doing as we're doing it. So there's a lot of options you can take on your turn. And this is the basic player aid that we have at the moment. Uh, so, starting. You're going to be able to take uh, some once per round actions and some mm -hmm. unlimited actions. You could expand your town, which mm -hmm. is going to be able to spend resources to purchase upgrades for your own personal village. Mm -hmm. You could recruit units, which is going to allow you to get more units you can place down here when you go into combat. Or you could purchase a spell from the Magic Guild. You do have to have an upgrade in order to get that initial spell. That's correct. So are you thinking of doing any of those? So what I'm going to do is, because I find it's incredibly important to have your secondary unit, I'm going to go ahead and spend the 10 gold to bring my secondary unit out um, and put him here in the same spot with myself. Okay. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is move over here to this resource area and normally you would roll two resource or you roll one resource die and you just take the total mm. in this particular one because of the the uh, specific scenario scenario we're playing. we're playing we actually get to roll two dice nice. and you take uh, the better one of the two so you spent 10 gold to bring him out here I did so that he can give me four, four stone. stone four it's stones pretty good yeah because that helps me build stuff that's uh that's building things all right and then with my next action I'm going to move over here. Uh, and while I'm still in my movement action... Yeah, so you only get one movement action per turn. You can yes. cut through different areas as long as there isn't a solid border on the edge. Now, West, with your ally character, mm -hmm. you had a total of two movement. Correct. With your lead character, you have a total of, of three, three movement. movement. Yes. So with this, I'm going to move to this area, and then one of the things I can do is use a movement to flip over the adjacent tile. So I'm going to do that. So this is what we see here with this adjacent tile. Now you do not have to move directly onto that location. Absolutely not. Um, so there's a lot of different things that are we'll go uh, that showing here. The other thing that I would like to do is to go ahead and just bring forth this next tile as well with my last piece of movement. Whoa, really? Yeah, because then that way that allows me to have lots of different places to see. I mean, you're immediately ruining my camera setup. I am 100%. It's very uh, rude. I, I did notice, I did place notice at the beginning that we would have the potential that we could go ahead and have uh, the opportunity for a new tile coming out. Mm -hmm. uh, and you were like, oh, it's okay, it'll be great, it'll look really nice. Yeah, so it's not going to happen too quick. There, There is our, our next piece. So now, even though this has a hard border there, you're able to pull that out into the edge. Because it touches this spot right here, and it touches yep. this spot right there. So both of those are good. If this was the hard border over here and the 
true. It would not have worked, but that is the it location. It has to be able to be travelable from all tiles it's touching. Correct. Yeah. Well, from, from two different tiles. So it has to touch two tiles yeah. from one, at least one lo location. Now, what I've done is I've stopped on this mine right here, and that was on purpose. Not only could I uncover both of those tiles, but I could also fight a battle and take over this mine right here, which is what I'm going to do. So let's take a look at some of the other unlimited actions you mm -hmm. had on your turn. So we've engaged with movement. Mm -hmm. That's a one-time thing. Yep. Uh, but you also could have recruited a secondary hero from a player's own faction. I you did. Could have. Yep. You can use any card from your hand. Hand, mm -hmm. If there's any of those you'd like to play down to like buff up your stats or anything like that, eventually, uh, you could visit locations on the map, which mm -hmm. is what you're currently doing. Right. You could flag mines or any other structure with a appropriate cube of the color of the player's faction. Now you'll mm -hmm. be able to do that after mm -hmm. you've defeated. Because I used that is used, so there's technically a black cube there. Yeah. Uh, now, after you've defeated the enemies here, you'll be able to flag this location. That is correct. You could attack neutral units and enemy heroes, which mm -hmm. is what you're doing now. Yep. You could pick up resources and items on the map, which you've already done a little bit with the stone. Correct. And you could activate a building in a player's own town, yes. which would be your own personal squad there. You want to show mm -hmm. them some of the buildings you have available? Yeah. So one of the things you can build is a citadel, and this allows you to access those lots units, yep. which is really important in, in the... Uh, the grand scheme of the game, it also adds walls um, and a gate card to your city when it is under siege, which is important. Uh, you have your mage guild, which allows you to add uh, spells to everything that you're doing, which is fantastic. So you have the ability to grab more spells. Spells are incredibly powerful, uh, but you only get to use one per uh, round of combat. Um, I have an ancient layer and my inner labyrinth. So the very beginning of my uh, areas of opportunity for bringing out more of my combat units, it starts here with mine as in the Warrens, which gives me the ability to access my bronze starred uh, characters. Then the next one up, after I've created a citadel, I'm then able to, to utilize this star area here uh, for the silver stars, which gives me my secondary yeah. units, those uh, slightly stronger units. And then the very last one here is the gold units, which you obviously are are the dragons. best of the best. The best of the best. The dragons. Um, but you have to build those in that order, and they are kind of expensive. I mean, if you can see down here, it costs eight gold, six stone, and three treasures um, just to build the second one, and it's ten, nine, and four. I'm not sure if we'll expensive. see dragons in this gameplay. I'm curious. Oh, I'm bringing dragons. <laughs> okay. It's coming. I'm going to have so to So we're do going it. to see dragons in this yeah. gameplay. Uh, Mana Vortex is will allow you, uh, at the beginning of each of your turns, to discard one card from your hand, and you can actually shuffle your discard pile back into your draw pile mm -hmm. and draw back up again. So it's a good way to do a little bit of card management there. And then your city hall is at the beginning of each resource round. Uh, you can choose an additional five gold or a treasure, and those are hard things to come by. Mm. Um, so those are all really great things to uh, to purchase. And, you know, I would really, really love to build a citadel, but I just don't have enough money to be able to build that right now. And while I do want some of these other things, I'm going to save my money so I can build my citadel and get to dragons eventually. So. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Seems just like what he'd do. Mm -hmm. Is that the end of your turn other than the combat? Uh, other than combat, unfortunately, yes, that has to be the end of my turn. Okay, well, let's so, go ahead and engage in the combat. Uh, so, because you're in a level one, right, correct. area, level you're one going area. to have a certain stat block that you're going to be drawing. Yep, and in, a, in the book at the very back, it'll give you the... Uh, the sheet basically yep. the cheat sheet which tells you what you're able to do for each location so at level one we're going to use the easy because we're going easy it's already not I mean, normal when i did that level five in the last game it almost ended me so we're going to go normal you think level one normal bronze star all right draw it up still bronze star didn't change he's lucky if he'd said we were going normal i would have pushed to hard so you're lucky you started on easy all right good i feel good about that <laughs> uh so we have a rogue here who's coming out now jesse's going to get to the opportunity to put that person on the board yeah so the rogue here some of the stats you're going to see from mm -hmm. our base cards uh is going to be a special ability down here the artwork of course but then also, it's going to be able to do two attack, it has three health, it has one natural defense, and it has an initiative of six. Correct. The base ability here, once during your turn, look at the top card from any deck, then put it back on the top or the bottom of the given deck. Now, this will Obviously, not be applicable. We won't do that. but Because this is just an NPC. If this correct. was my rogue, however... You could have an opportunity to do this I would be able to things. do that. Okay. The other part that's interesting to note here at the top, this shows that this is a traditional combat unit. It's a ground foot soldier. Mm. There are also things like ranged, and there are flying characters as well. Yeah. So this rogue, let's go ahead and uh, 
This is going to be our ranged area. Yes. This is going to be our initial uh, area. Flying and ground people go here, and yep. then if you have more, then they would go in this next row here. And you'll always want to start your character on the left-hand side of the row that it's supposed to go from, from your highest initiative yep. to your lowest initiative. So for me, I have these two characters that are part of my group. So a ranged always going to go in the back, so it'll be over here. And then this is just a traditional ground troop, so he's going to go up in the front. Now, one of the only things to point out here that uh, we mentioned earlier this one is currently upgraded to lots mm -hmm. the first time it gets defeated it's going to flip to the back whereas your evil eyes we need to spend eight gold and use an action to, to actually upgrade it to lots right yep. so so increasing the total uh and number that's of if you have a citadel because you can't upgrade them yep. unless you have a citadel okay all right we're in position uh, I've got an initiative of six with my guy, which means I believe I'm going first. I don't like that you have an initiative of six, but yeah. yes, that is unfortunately correct. Even though I'm the attacker, you get to go first. Now, for these guys, though, it's just a standard movement of two. That is correct. Which means if I stay here and eat one of your archer shots or your range shots, mm -hmm. you will be in a disadvantageous position with at least your lead character. Maybe. Because you could at least move two. If you want to take me down, you might just stand there, though, and let your and archer finish me off. And just off with the archer. All right, I've got to rush you. Mm -hmm. All right, AI character is going to take two steps up, mm -hmm. pushing forward. I'm so glad you did that. Okay, so the next character, I'm going to go ahead and let my... Uh, this, for the record, should be an easy battle. <laughs> yes, it should be an easy battle. So I'm going to go ahead and let my range go first, because they both have the same initiative, and it's my choice as to which one gets to go first. Uh, this, I'm not going to add any additional cards, because I want to save, I think, the things that to. I have, and I don't really need to. Um, the evil eyes here have a uh, an attack of three. So now that I say I'm doing an attack, if this were a player character I was going against, you would have the opportunity to play cards. Uh, to I would have the opportunity to play cards to buff my attack, and yep. you would have the uh, opportunity to play cards to buff his defense. Um, in the case that it's not, all we're going to do is then uh, finalize the attack by rolling this dice. Uh, so it doesn't add or subtract mm -hmm. anything, it's just straight issues. Which three goes through defense, uh, he will take two points of damage. damage. So it's close, not quite there yet. You're probably going to finish him off with your Troglite. Now, in true fashion, he would have the opportunity to retaliate if he were next to me, but because his range is not the same, yeah. he does not have a chance to retaliate. Uh, I am going to go ahead and move my Troglodytes over here, and I am going to attack with an attack of three. Mm -hmm. And let's see, I do get a negative one, so it's only a two, but that's, that's enough, enough to, to get through. through. Like we said, that initial battle should honestly be uh, not too bad. Yeah. So thankfully, I survived. Yeah. And that means because I was able to attack uh, and succeed in my battle, that means that I get um, to level up my character. So I go from level one to level two, which now means I have access to those uh, upgraded abilities on my cards, which is fantastic for the next one round. One additional strength. Yep, yep, very nice. Is that your turn? You that gotta, is the end of my turn. You're going to place a mark down indicating um, you currently have that keep. Yep, so I do need here, <coughs> when you uh, attack a mine for the first time, you get a bonus. So I'll get the uh, two stone that that mine gives me, which is fantastic. Um, and then I get to put down one of my purple cubes, showing that I am, in fact, the owner of this mine. Uh, so now, every time the resource round happens, I get to add it to my inventory sheet here. So I'll get my ten gold, but now I'll get four yeah. uh, stone moving forward. So I am going to do something very similar to you. I am going to go ahead and spend the 10 coin to bring out my ally. Seems like Spend a his plan. initial movement, but I'm going to go over here to the treasure chest location. I'm mm -hmm. going to be digging for resources instead of looking for uh, some artifacts. Hmm. Okay. So that means I'm going to be rolling a resource die. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and toss me one of those. Kind there of what you, you did already. Kind of in what a way. I did, yeah. Uh, Ooh, and I got, got one treasure. Gem, though. Wow, that's awesome. I don't mind that. I that's actually need nice. that to do quite a bit of construction. Those are really hard to get. Okay. What else do I actually want to go ahead and do? That's the next question. So I've already moved my assistant. Yeah. I like the idea of pushing forward like you've already done. Mm hmm. Uh, but. But. There is that awesome resource area in the back. You could roll the treasure die. I could. I could if I wanted to. Yeah. Um, I think I am going to begin pushing forward. I'm going to reveal the tile in front of me. Okay. Just like you have done. Great. So go ahead and flip that. Uh, ooh. 
There's a chapel here, I see. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Uh, we'll go through all these icons after my turn's over. Unless I wanted to step over to the chapel, I don't. I want to go ahead and conquer the mine that's there. I do have one movement left, but sadly, because of the positioning of that blocked area, I am unable to put that location next to me because it wouldn't stretch out far enough, I don't think. That's correct. Yeah, mm -hmm. the we can only add a tile here or here based on the things that we have available to us. Hmm. Okay, fair enough. So I am going to go ahead and pause there. I'm going to get engage in combat. Okay. But before I do that, I think I do want to go ahead and see if there's any opportunities for me to go ahead and... Uh, upgrade some of my stuff. Expanding my town or recruiting a unit. I know I could recruit my zombie for a cost of two, then an upgrade cost of four. But you don't have a citadel to upgrade. So you I, don't have a citadel, do I don't have a citadel to upgrade. I, right. I can do the initial uh, cost, though. Mm -hmm. I have Vaults of Darkness unlocks the ability to recruit star units. I have uh, the Malism Domain. Ma Mausoleum. Domain. M mausoleum. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is going to let me get the silver units. Uh, one, of course, comes before the other. I have the Mage Guild. This is going to allow me to go ahead and start getting more and more special magic cards. I like that one, and considering I just got more gems, mm -hmm. I don't mind that. Cover of Darkness. Once per turn, I can select one effect. Discard up to two might and magic cards to draw the same number of cards. Let's me cycle my deck a little bit more, mm -hmm. especially if I have some good, powerful cards and or... At the beginning of combat with the enemy hero, uh, discard one random card from the enemy hero's hand. A little bit of take that. You love take that. I love take West. that. Take that's the best. We have the Citadel. Unlocks the ability to recruit uh, lots of units. Adds two wall cards and one gate card into the middle of the combat round when yeah. your turn uh, is, begin is being besieged. When your town is being besieged. Yeah. So oh, that's, interesting. that's these cards here. That's awesome. So that shows you that you won't be able to get through. The only way to get through is coming this direct way here when you're doing a, a town, when you're attacking a town. Specifically, though, going after their town. Exactly, yep. yeah. Their main location. Which, unless you had a dragon, why would you ever attempt that? Yep. And then finally, we have City Hall. At the beginning of each resource round, uh, choose four coin or increase one lot's base level wow for free it's really awesome i do not have the gold to support that but i wish i did or the mm -hmm. stone to be honest city yeah. hall is really cool i'm gonna pause on this i actually think i want to build towards city hall mm -hmm. uh so i'm gonna i'm gonna hold off for a little bit i All like right. the idea of being able to up that uh let's go ahead and go to battle then zombies are gonna sit over to the side great do i pay the two gold I'm going to pay two gold to bring the zombies in. Okay. Just so I have them. Great. Uh, I think it's a good plan. Yeah. And Having now, an extra unit is never a bad thing. It's it's not a bad Unless thing. Unless you're fighting me, and then it's a bad thing. It, definitely a bad thing. Yeah. Uh, so, Ready I do... Ready for a fight? Not quite, though. Uh -huh. I do have one more thing I need to do. So let's go ahead and place these out where they'd be going. Okay. So we have a five, five, and a three. So five, five, and a three. I have All a six. of these... I believe are direct combat or flying units. Mm -hmm. But the one thing I need to do... So even though these are tied, you have to put your flying unit yeah. on the far side, so... Uh, the one thing I wanted to do, though, is because this is a lots of skeleton, uh -huh. I was going to go ahead and play down Cloak of the uh -huh. Undead over top of them. That Good changes plan. the stat of the skeleton. I basically have a leader on top here. The risk is if you somehow destroy my lots, mm -hmm. I'm in a harder position to be able to utilize that card. Agreed. Uh, and that... That's going to be okay. That's that's my cycle. Uh, initiative, you're still ahead of me. I am still ahead of you. Now, here's the interesting thing when I'm looking at all of this together. Uh, the, these boars only do two points of damage. They have a relatively decent size health at four, yep. uh, but they have zero defense whatsoever. Yep. So I'm trying to look at all of his different things and see if there's anything that it could take out in that first go-round, and there really isn't. Nothing without a better stat roll. But what... Yeah, and the so the only thing that I really have an opportunity to potentially take out uh, would be this, or maybe take this coat to off the top, which kind of is great for me if I'm trying to beat him up in the future. It's true. So I think that's what my guys are going to try to do. Uh, even though you know you, you, it would take three with an upgrade to knock it off, it's worth it in this regard. So here we go, one and two. Strong preference would be against this working. Yeah. I think it's going to be a fabulous idea. Let's see if I get a plus one. Uh, Minus one. Uh, 
Uh, no damage at all. Nothing happens. And That's now terrible. I get to gang up on your... Yeah, and so now you get a retaliatory act. ...little boar riding. So, you didn't actually see this in the last combat, because... This is true, because I murderized killed them. them from afar. I get a full attack action mm -hmm. back as a retaliation, which is one of the dangers of going up against stronger characters, because they might actually get two full activations against you... Very true. ...for your single one. Three attack coming through. Go ahead and toss me the die. Okay. There you are. You have no defense. I have nothing. Uh, subbing this up by one. Oh, oh down by one. Yeah, two so damage coming two. through here. Yep, so he's got two points of damage on him yeah. right now. But now I get to go ahead and start activating. Yep. Now, you will get one potential retaliation unless I kill you with my Wraith now. This is true, so yes. So that's one of the interesting things. Every character actually gets one retaliation per combat round or sequence. Mm -hmm. Three damage coming through, though. Yep. This would have to be... It would have to be a, a negative one. Nothing. They would, yeah, you'd have to completely miss, and there's no way for that. You're dead. Happen. Yep. You're dead. White. Again, Again. this should be easy. an easy combat yeah. round. Uh, let's go ahead and place down one of my black cubes here on this location, showing that I'm starting to infect the world. I should gain two stone, I believe? Yep, two stone. So you already used some, so here we go. Here's two stone for you. Okay, my characters are going to pop over here to the side, keeping them in the same and structure and order. You're going to want to put not a black cube, but a gray cube on gray top cube. of that, showing that gray owns it, not black. Yep, and moving over here, I'm going to be upping my level mm -hmm. by one, and I'm going to be increasing my resource count, uh, same thing you saw with West, by two. So four, ten gold, four stone, and one ruby at the top of every round. That is correct. Okay. Uh, that's my turn. I don't think there's anything else I can do. All um, right. I will go ahead at the start of my next turn, draw up to four cards. I'm down to three at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, and you want to check where you are with your cards. Uh, well, you not, didn't play any, did you? I didn't play any cards. Okay. I didn't need to. All right. So uh, now it, we go into the astronomy round. So we're going to pull that one up here and see what happens. Astrologers proclaim week of the Bactions Stallion. So at the beginning of their activation and at the end of, mm, at the beginning of their activation and until the next mm. astrologers round, each hero gains plus one movement. So for the next two okay. rounds, yeah, we'll, we have plus one movement. That's awesome. We'll leave this stat card up <coughs> here just to remind us that it is currently active. Hmm. That's not bad, but I don't know that I can use it for a lot. Yeah. Okay. Now that we're at this stage of the game, I know, there's a lot of things we're going through. We want to make sure we carefully and precisely... I, I think we're one of the only people, like, demoing this. Yeah. They had to ship it from... From Poland. Poland, <laughs> which is insane. It is. I want to make sure that people understand some of the stuff that's happening on the board here. If you've played any games like Mage Knight before, you'll be familiar with a lot of iconography that makes total sense as soon as you know it. Yeah. Uh, but once you don't... Once you're learning it, you have to do a little bit of work to figure out exactly what's happening here. So let's go ahead and go through all of these different locations. Yeah. So this is another keep here, um, which would allow us to have an extra unit location. So that yeah. would give you more, uh, you can choose either gold, um, treasure, stone, or uh, you could actually do, uh, you can upgrade a standard unit to a lots unit um, from that, but you only get to do that one time. Uh, this one here is would be our magic spring, so that gives us, uh, we can look at the top three cards from the discard pile, uh, and you get to choose one of those and place them in your hand, so that's pretty nice. Um, this one here would give us a, a, a relic, um, which is pretty awesome. Oh, just the icon there. Yep. Yep. Um, this one here is a little Shrine bit more unique. Shrine of magic incantation. Mm -hmm. The hero visiting uh, a field can pay three coin to draw two cards from the spell deck, choosing one card to put on their hand and placing the remaining card on the face-up discard pile. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Then uh, up here at the top, it will be one of those little houses. Yeah, the trading post. So yeah. this location allows a hero to trade resources. Seize page. Basically what that means is there's some economy and you get to swap resources for resources. Yep. And that's it's not too bad. Everything in that tile. If you need a lot of stone. Yeah. Now, here we go in the more scary tile. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things here, but it's kind of cool because yeah. there's a lot of things here. So, the, so this one here, just to let you know, you'd fight a level three situation here, a yeah. level two situation here, um, because this is one of our far tiles. And now we'll get to this one, which is a little bit more scary. Yeah, so let's start there with the tree, which I think is the most important piece down here on the board. Definitely. Uh, the player's main hero may choose to pay three valuable or ten gold to level up. So you can actually pay three treasures. The skip the, a round of just combat. Straight up, go up. Yep. That's awesome. 
Uh, moving over to the windmill here. Yep. That uh, gives you one of the valuable pieces. Which is what you need to trade in. Yep. Moving uh, over to the church mm -hmm. sanctuary here. If your hero is on this field, they cannot be attacked by another hero. Pretty straightforward, but a imp really important place to actually remember. Especially if someone like me is chasing after you. Uh, Wes, the witch's hut here in the center of the tile. Yeah, so the player draws one card from the ability deck. Uh, and then they can choose to put it into their hand or place that face up on the discard of the ability deck. Mm -hmm. uh, which is really nice. I mean, the ability cards are very, very nice. They're an extra crazy thing that you get to do um, during your turn, which is really nice. Yeah. Uh, moving over to, that's another trading post down there in the corner. Mm, yep. Uh, and so I think that's that tile. And then this one oh, here is yeah, the mine. Oh yeah, Where is that? Yeah. Right that's here. One of these, that's the, going to the be gem the mines. gem pond, the gem mine. Yeah, which is awesome. Very, very nice. And for the record, that is a level four and that's a level five. <laughs> we don't want to talk um, about that. Once. Those were, this almost killed me when I played the last time on easy. Yeah. Uh, uh and let's go ahead and take a quick look at this last location we have here just to see if there's anything that we haven't been over through. Witch's Hut, Sanctuary, we have another shrine right here, but this one's slightly different. Yeah, this so one... this is a shrine of magic incantation, yep. whereas we have a uh, shrine of magic gesture, the gold versus the silver. Uh, so the player draws two cards from the spell deck, choosing one card to put in their hand and placing the remaining one on the corresponding face-up discard pile. Yeah, so this one you don't have to pay for, which is really nice. Yeah. Uh, another mine here. Okay, another mine location down there. That's going to be one of the, I think, magic temples, the alchemy labs. Yep. Yep. And then finally, I think the last icon that we've gone over, the Warriors, the Warriors Tomb. tomb. Uh, so in the Warriors Tomb, the player draws two cards from their artifact deck, chooses one card to put in their hand, and placing the remaining card on the corresponding face of discard pile. Then they do this action again. So in other words, you're going to have the opportunity to look through four artifacts, yeah. and you pick the best two during that. It's similar time. to the shrines. It's just it's giving you relics and, and more powerful attacks to use as opposed to magic. But you are a grave robber. So there are two negative things that are about to happen that to you as well. True. You're going to resolve the morale effect, the negative morale effect twice, yeah. um, which is very painful. All right. I think that is most of. Now, of course, you could pause the video and, and read through some of those other locations and stats. We may encounter some of them. We probably won't encounter all of them when it comes to the course of play. So I wanted to make That's sure you right. all had a yeah. sense of uh, all the options we had. I'm going straight for that tree. That's the only natural thing to do. Obviously. Okay. Definitely the right opportunity. What are you thinking I on think your turn? I think we actually were one higher, weren't we? Uh, I think I screwed it up when I pulled it all down. I think you did. Oh! Wes, no, what have you... That can't be right. This... What have you done, West? So that's you correct. Put it, did you put this it on This is wrong? correct. No. I think this must be down here. Yeah, you put it on wrong. Probably. There we go. Now we're correct. There we are. See, that looks better. 100%. So much better. That's, that was a, we just, you know. That feels right. Feels right. It's a good thing. All and right. And your gray one is there, right? Gray one should be on there, yep. Gray one should be on there, black one's on there, so gray one came over here by accident. There we are, okay, we got it, we're good. It's totally fine. It's your turn, West. All right, so uh, <coughs> we've got that, that gives us one extra movement. That's, that's good, that's very good. Um, what am I going to do with this opportunity here? I love a parade. I love a parade. So, hmm. <laughs> okay, uh, one thing to note is that if your level is higher than the level of the you place, you free. just conquer it instantly. So because of that, I'm moving my secondary character into here, which is a level one place but I don't have to fight because I'm level two. Nice. So therefore, I just get to roll these this dice here. Um, oh. It's a star. This is fantastic because that means I gain Fantastic half. would be a, an uh, experience level. Comfortable word. I love that. So yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and go up that nice half an experience level. Uh, hopefully I can do that multiple times. That would just be Now, for those so of you fantastic. that are curious what he just did, you see those gentle little clips in the middle Mm -hmm. uh, that's half an experience level. It doesn't count for anything. But you're halfway there. Until you get another one, and then it counts for a lot. That's right. Yeah. So the real question here is, do I want to go get another relic, or do I want to get more monies? Mm. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and go down here and get another oh. relic, I think. So I'm going to go after a level two. So okay. on normal, Jesse, 
What is a number two uh, in our our level over there in our rule book? Okay, a number two yes. is going to put us in the position of fighting uh, on normal, just two. Just two. It doesn't start scaling up badly until you get to the higher levels. All right, well, that, that one silver level in the next four. level is pretty Level rough. four is where the math, no, level three is where the math starts to change. Yeah, I, I do think I am going to go ahead and recruit um, some harpies, though, because... Uh, I, th I feel like I'm going to need them, so I'm just going to pay two gold to recruit harpies, just in case, because I don't like the opportunity of the thought now, process West, of them being there. just because I'm curious, looking at this, this would allow me to actually connect in two passable zones. I think I could build out there. The middle zone is blocked. Yeah, that's true. But just because of how the tile builds... I think builds, you're right. I think you could. Uh, interesting. Yep, I think you're, I think I you're right. I might consider that. Yeah. Not right now. So too far away. I'm, I'm adding harpies to my list here, so I now have them in my area. So here are here's yours. Good luck with that. Enjoy those people. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set up my group here. Ooh. So yes, flying. I have a rogue range being played down. You saw him last time, but I also have a halfling. Hmm. Halfling's gonna be a ranged character. Yeah. Uh, initiative of six on all of mine. Yeah, see, here's the problem. So I have an initiative of six as well, and if he just had one initiative of six, then I would get to go first, which should be the way that everything yeah. works. But because he has two ones that have initiative of six, he will get to go first, and the next round, I'll get to go first. So that kind of sucks, but great. Yeah. Go ahead. My halfling's going to go first. Yeah. Uh, so starting, uh -huh. always roll two attack die and apply the higher outcome. Ignores ranged penalties. So even if you're next to me, I don't have a consequence to that. Mm -hmm. Attack value of two. Go ahead and toss me two attack dice over here. And what attack could Attack value two... of two? Oh, yeah. No, just one attack dice. Yep. No, no, I roll two. Always roll two attack oh, dice. That's it's almost like worse. I just read that out loud. Ugh. Who do I want to get rid of? I think the harpy. Yeah, I would like to aim directly for the harpy because that would actually cut your potential. Are you playing something before I roll? I'm I'm potentially. Hold on one second. Let me let me read these to see if I can find something that would be worthwhile. Because he's play. realizing that losing his harpy would be. I just paid a, for that harpy. <laughs> a detrimental update to his plan. Yes. Um. Ah, I don't like that. So I'm going to discard, uh, two cards. And then draw three cards. So oh this one gosh. here is my charm of mana. So I'm discarding two cards, and then uh, I get to draw three cards. So I'm going to discard these two attack cards into my discard okay. pile, along with this one, and then I'm going to draw three cards. Wow. So it's basically like a hard reset. Sort of, yeah. Because this has gone too now. Yeah, that's gone too. <clears throat> Um, good, but I got something that I needed, so that's fantastic. A defense? I, I did manage to, to find a defense here, so because I am of a level where I can play the higher value... You're playing higher level defense on I'm going to play two of her defense, so now she is actually at a two defense instead of zero defense. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and see what I'm able to grab. Plus one, so three damage coming in. All right. Two defense will mean one damage so comes through. That is okay. I can handle that. I believe that does expend your card. What? Your card is not going to stay for the whole thing. So two damage is going to come through. Yeah. Uh, at at the end of your next cycle. Correct. It's gone. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, that's my turn, though. Great. I'm not now, moving. Now it is my turn to use my harpies. Yep. So... I'm gonna go up here. Uh, because she's flying, she has the ability to move three spaces, but I don't have enough strength to get through the def through that defense and it wouldn't kill you. I prefer not being killed. And the unfortunate part is, it would unless I got like a plus one, then it still even wouldn't kill you. Let me see if I've got anything uh, in my magic Let book Let me of see if here. I've got anything. I'm not playing with my own people, so yeah. I don't get to play cards. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I like beating you up with people that aren't my people. I severely dislike it, actually. I feel like <laughs> it's pretty terrible. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play uh, three cards. I'm going to expend my entire hand of cards all at once. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play my magic arrow. 
Uh, and I'm going to use one power card to go with it, so that means that it will be worth two points of damage. Okay. And I'm also going to play, play a knowledge card, but I've already played the strength part here on the bottom, so all I can do is just play, play this, this card, card top. immediately after casting a spell. Instead of discarding the spell card, take it back into your... So magic arrow is coming back into your hand. Correct. And you're dealing two immediate damage to me. Two immediate points of damage. And However, I'm, does my shield block any of that? I'm doing it to your half life. Oh, no. Yes. <gasps> So that's two points that goes on to your halfling. Fair enough. Which is my smartest play, I think. And that didn't come from my harpy. Yeah, came from your lead. It came from my lead. Um, so I think what I'm going to end up doing here is something stupid, uh, because I don't want you to reattack Harfling, my harpy um, and kill it. So I'm just going to not do anything with my harpy. I'm going to leave her right there. She's just going to hang out. Wow. And I'm going to pass that turn. Okay. Because uh, he's going to have a ranged person to pick off the halfling. That is correct. The rogue is the one that has the chance to potentially take someone out. He will need to do three total damage over to the troglodyte. Uh, and it would just drop it off of a lots, which I actually don't mind. Subbing you down from a lots to a not lots. Could be. Let's see right. what happens. We're going to move forward right here. Good plan. And we're going to go ahead and strike at the very heart of you. Uh, I'm not able to use the ability of the rogue because... That's not how this works. Plus one. Three damage coming through. Two damage. That'll knock you off of lots. Yep. Flipping your card. That is less good. And now you're probably going to finish me off. Yeah, so now I get to do a retaliatory action. Um, so, therefore, I'm going to do this. Oh, it minus only does one. one. one so it does literally nothing. Everything. That's fantastic. I like how this is going. Now, um, my evil eyes are going to go here. Pain and suffering will befall you. So they are firing off for three, and they will... What is the best option? There I need to is, kill something. As far as I'm aware, no best option. Because you're going to die. Ugh. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. Maniacal I'm gonna, after. I'm going to kill... <laughs> I'm going to use evil eyes and... Uh, Assuming nothing dumb happens. Minus one. Which is, of course, what happens. Uh, oh, two so damage is still, still going kills through. It, yeah. yeah, you're wiping him out. So, evil eyes action has gone, which is great. And now I get to finish off my turn here with using the troglodyte to hit the rogue. So, I don't have anything to do to increase that option. So, that's less good. It is less good. And, of course, he gets a minus one, so, Not again, a speck of damage. nothing happens. Back up to the top of the round. Uh, this time, however, you get to go first, correct? I do, yes. Because you're the sixth lead on this. Yes. Okay. Double sixes beat the attacker's lead, but single sixes go in favor of the attacker. Yeah. Here's the poor problem, though. You can't get to me. I can. One, two, and three. So he comes over here. you got three movement? Here. Yeah, because she's flying. She flies. I didn't realize that. So, uh, she's going to fly over here, and unfortunately, she's probably going to die because he's going to get to do a retaliatory action now. Oh, I'm going to punch you back came so hard. Oh. So, she does nothing, and now you get a retaliatory action. Oh. oh. So, it only does one point of damage, which means she's still alive. She's got one health left, folks. That's great. Do I knock her out? Do I go for the easy kill over here? So many options. She seems like the straightforward kill. And getting rid of your flying person would be annoying. Getting rid of your range person would be all the sweeter, though. Mm. You would be. You, you would really have to get a plus one, though, to do that. I realize that. Whereas you could just kill the harpies. Yeah. Oh, for the record, after performing a, an attack action suffering from retaliation, this unit can move back to a previously occupied space. Uh, I'm not going to have her move back to an occupied space. So it, it's it doesn't fine. technically change anything because I could catch you either. No, I couldn't catch you. If you move back, I couldn't catch you. Yeah, but she has to also, and suffering from retaliation. So, oh. like, if there was another person here trying to attack her, then she could move back over here and it would be fine. So she still gets the retaliatory action, and I don't want to have to move her around if I don't have to. So mm. it's fine. Because I really don't want you to attack this person. Although, yes, I do. No, because, suffering from yeah. retaliation is better. So now I'm I'm gonna move it after the retaliation. You removed my yeah. You re you've removed my option to take her out. Correct. A plus one though, and I like the ranged better anyway. We'll see what happens. Come on, negative one. 
Ah! That's ridiculous. I mean, it's not actually that expensive for you. It's like two coins. It's four. Oh, that's more. The harpy is way better because it only cost me two coins. Four is a pretty four expensive sucks. purchase. Yes. Great. Uh, now you still have to kill my rogue. Yeah. Now my rogue has retaliated once already. Yeah. So, and of course, I can only roll negative ones. So my troglodyte does absolutely nothing. I love this. This really sucks. So now my harpy is going to go down here. And because both of these are negative two. <laughs> I have not retaliated. All right, so there you go. We're good. I killed you because I got two points through, so you only blocked one. You had two points of damage, so... When did I have two points of damage? Didn't you have two points of damage on this character? Mm -hmm. I've never hit this character. You didn't put it on. I guess I never did. Okay, so you have one what? point of damage now, I guess. So there we go. Who would have done two points? Did this I don't person... think anybody did. I think I'm just thinking of the harpy. So All right, so you get to retaliate. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, so Harpy dies, because no matter what you do, you're going to kill Harpy. Fantastic. <laughs> this is horrible. This is the worst round ever. I love what's happening. All right, and it's now... It's my turn to go. Yeah, I guess. Remember that whole thing? I've already retaliated. Yep. Let's do a murder murder. Zero, two, coming across. Well, ah, one damage. One damage. You might actually squeak this through. So I get to retaliate with new nothing, again, as usual. And I get to do one point of damage to you here. So now it's a new round. You get to attack. This could be it. And it is. <laughs> I lose. All that right. is so terrible. Losing is not losing, but let's go through losing. Yeah. You actually get your you get both of your base characters back. I get back. my base characters back. You just get knocked back to your castle. But I also suffer a, a, um, a humiliation. That is true. And in front of everyone here on camera. The humiliation, if you could please, pull that up, because it's a very specific range Please go ahead and comment here. down below some type of insulting statement like, West, your beard is very gray, because he does in fact dye it to You're avoid you being aware. so terrible. Isn't that a humiliation? It though? is a humiliation. We've accomplished our goal. It's very true. You, yeah. You've definitely done it. And that. you'll be able to do the same to me the moment I get humiliated. Okay, here's, here's the great news. <laughs> um... The uh, the the morale token here. So I if I if I uh, end up with a negative action, yeah, um, you get to remove two cards from my hand. Guess okay. what? You're. Empty. I have no cards in yeah. my hand, so it's fantastic. Okay. Oh wait, I do have one card in my hand. Discard it. Okay. Uh, let's knock your person back to your home base. Yep. Let's reset this board. Ridiculous. I love that. That's it, though, right? Correct. Okay, moving on to my turn. Uh, that was fun. That was good. And I didn't even have less fun. I didn't even have my own cards less to manipulate fun. the stats. Less fun. All right. <sighs> what do I want to do? I've got at least one more cycle before I'm actually able to build like I'd like. Mm -hmm. uh, what locations do I have here that allow me to get gold? Really nothing. I'm going to go ahead and initiate a move with my ally. If and you, I'm yeah. And I'm gonna move backwards yep. into this area, and and I'm gonna go ahead and claim some resources. So a treasure or stone. Uh, I'll take the one treasure. I think that mm, seems okay. a little bit more valuable. There you are. Okay. And we put a black dot on that one. Yeah. Now I'm gonna initiate my movement. I'm gonna start by revealing a tile. So let's go ahead and take a look at this tile here. Level two right next to me. Another keep. Uh, we have Ooh, a great place for you to go for another artifact, just like I tried to do. That is true. Mm -hmm. uh, plus one gem. That's an actual mine in this location. It's a stable. A it doesn't count as a mine. Yeah, but it, it gets me gems. It does. Mm. And this gets you an extra movement action. I don't know that I need a lot of that. I think I might just reveal that tile and then literally not go there. Two more movement left. I'm gonna go one, two, down here into this magic location. Okay. Putting a mark down on this space. And allowing me to go ahead and draw a single magic card. Okay. And I get to keep this in my hand. Uh, now, so that people can see what this magic card is. I, well, I'm gonna talk about it as well. Okay. I got a town portal. Move your hero to a selected town or settlement in your control. Uh, and depending on how much I spend, I actually get additional movement beyond that as well. So this is a, a really good ability because it might allow me to pop down. And I should have had one more card in my hand because I started this game with three. 
I think that's all I'm doing. A little anticlimactic, though. You were much more violent, but also much more unsuccessful. Yeah, significantly more unsuccessful, and, and apparently much more humiliated, so... Okay. There we go. Okay, so that's the end of the round. Now we're going to a round three. Now, one of the things in this particular scenario is that all of the black pieces come off on rounds three, six, and nine. You can recuperate so can all those resources. Do those things one it's more time. It's a very time. friendly version of this game. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and gain 10 gold. So are you, I believe. That is correct. I'm going to gain 4 stones. So are you, I believe. That is correct. And I'm going to gain 1 gem. West, so are you, I believe. That is correct. It's almost like if that fight had gone differently, your stats might have been slightly adjusted. That also is correct. Okay. All right. What are you thinking? Well, uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is go over here and try to get some more money. Makes sense. So I can do more things, but I will take You'll the... You'll take a gem. I'll take the gem. You'll That's take what fine. you get, Wes. I will take what I get, and I will love it. And more I won't large, please, throw a fit, uh... as my children would say. All right. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to build my citadel Ooh. so that I can do better with You can hashtag stuff. creatures. Hashtag creatures. So great. Can you give me two uh, back, please? And I will spend my stone. Hashtag lots. Hashtag lots. And then how I many zombies are there? Hashtag lots. <laughs> All right. So my citadel goes down. That's fantastic. Uh, now I have access to the lots. I also have my wall cards and my gate card, which is also great. And that leaves me with an amazing amount of money sitting at seven. Five. <laughs> Five. Ah, ah, ah. Um, one ah 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 and unfortunately there's not a whole lot i could build Two. with five ah but ah, we all know what ah. i need to do and that of course lose <laughs> ah 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 yes that of course is going to be uh get some of my people back. So I still have my two main characters. I'm going to go ahead and buy the harpies again. But the good news is I'm going to also... Um, don't have enough to do it. I'm one short. <laughs> I love that. Oh, that is terrible. I love that. For I'm you. one short. Literally one gold short. Ugh, that's awful. Okay, so I'm going to buy my harpies again and hope that they do better for me this time. So I'll pay my two for that. Fantastic. You could go to the market and start exchanging resources. I could. That would be a waste of a turn, however. So, uh, because it worked so well for me the last time... You fighting them again? I, uh... I you don't, can't even get there. I, I, oh, no, you could. You got I the can. extra movement. Yeah, we still can go there. Um, yep. I'm doing it. I'm going to try it again. Hopefully I will get a better draw this time. I mean... We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Ooh, this is going to be a harder fight. Uh, double boars in my case. <sighs> boars are strong. They're dangerous. They're fast. They're also vulnerable. Uh, we've been able to snipe boars out of like mid space pretty easily. Correct. Starting with my lead, though, because I've, I've got the same go double first. six, and I'm actually in position where I'm going to be able to smack oh. some of your people in the face. That should be a lot. Oh, you re-upgraded to a lot? No, you when you uh, die and you suffer the consequences, uh, right. you get your stuff back the way it started. You're so. right. Uh, I would like to de-lots your lots, so I'm going to go ahead Fantastic. and move forward with the boar. I'm going to be rolling one. Okay. No stat buff. Before you roll, there are things that I could potentially do. While the die is in the air. While the die is in the air. to the ground. Quickly, will he draw the right card? I'm going to play an instant uh, defense. So a defense. That he goes up to uh, two defense. I'm that is not three. <laughs> Try again, sir. What? It was rolling. No, it was rolling it? as you were rolling in your hands. What are you talking hands. about? No, it was flipping the not... entire time. I've already died once. The dice gods are going to respond appropriately. Yes, they are. Ah! They are going to respond appropriately. All right, so clearly that is the negative one die. Uh, so nothing goes through on that one, yeah, thankfully. Yeah, that's accurate. And now I get to retaliate. And I am retaliating with a four, which kills you. Yeah, take him off. Fantastic. Forced. Gone. Love it. Love it for me. That was that was great. This is how the this part of the game should go. Should have gone. Yes, it should <laughs> not have gone like it did the last time. That was a horrendous fight. It was very entertaining, though, and we do everything for your pleasure, including... The extra Die. ribbing. What? <laughs> okay, so now uh, I'm going to do an attack 
But the good news of what I'm going to do is I'm all, I'm going to make sure that this this <laughs> works out better for me and and use some cards this time. I love you playing cards. So here we go. I've got my uh, this is my dragon's skill, uh, which allows me to add a plus one to an attack. So she's now at a three. You look at my board. You give a hearty. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I'm also going to add my Red Dragon Flame Tongue. Nice. Uh, so now she has a four as her native Bat attack. Card. Okay, for the record. Super cool, right? Give me your best voice, West Todd. Oh, yes, it does have flavor text. As you are walking along a narrow path, a nearby bush suddenly bursts into flame. Before your very eyes, the flames become the image of a beautiful woman. She holds the magnificent sword out to you. Now will you kill a wild hog? I really hope I can kill a wild You're hog. You're like, I've got this amazing gifted sword from a beautiful woman. Uh, murder a donkey hog. <sighs> she does three. It's great. And now you get to retaliate. That doesn't sound like enough. That's not enough. She does three. Oh. <laughs> she did three. I also do three, West. Do you really? Your harpy's extinct. That's great. So glad for the harpies. And now... I believe it's my turn. It is your turn. Let's try to answer the call. Three would be great here. It would be. But you get a one. Awkward. Nothing happens. Fantastic. And guess who gets to retaliate? Oh, he's already retaliated, though. Yes. Yeah, he has. But guess whose turn it is? You know, the funny thing is, West, mm -hmm. if only I had killed you with one person left. <laughs> yes, if only. So to be safe, because I don't want what happened last time to happen again, I'm going to attack with my range so that if you have an opportunity... Oh, you've already retaliated as well, right? Because you retaliated against the Harpy. So I'm going to use my Troglodyte. It's fine. Uh, and he kills him. It's good. Oof, wow, I have like nightmares about this now. It's it feels like cool. you've been fighting me, but you haven't. You've only been fighting the AI. Yeah, the AI is terrible. Has a lot Clearly. of personality. All right, so I'll get to take these two back. They'll be fine, but my harpies are still dead. Okay. Less good. Um, okay, so that means that I won this battle, so I do get to level up. I'm now three and a half. It's fantastic. And um, I get to take an Ankh from here, nice. which is fantastic. So one of these relics, I get to draw it. And you sharing with the crowd, or are you uh, disregarding their attention? I can share with the crowd. Here's okay. the great news. This is actually a true relic. You can see that it has uh, gold rims around the outside. Uh, if it was a standard relic, it would just be blue. Uh, if it was a slightly upgraded relic, it would be red. Not this really wanting is not. to know where the angel whose wings these belong to is. You take the wings and quickly depart. So now, your hero can move through fields with obstacles, neutral units, and enemy heroes without triggering combat. Wow. Your hero cannot end their movement in one of these fields. Or, I can use it to just straight up draw a card. So that's fantastic. I can, I'm can i not hampered by it's an amazing card. other things. Yeah. That's it's fantastic. An amazing card. I it's, love the idea that you didn't, you, didn't rest, you didn't wrestle with an angel. You just kind of took the wings and ran. Yeah. I, I feel like that's my, my strategy at this point. The angel is skinny. Damaging thing, run. And you were like... And I was like, ha-ha! Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, and this goes into my hand, which is great, because anytime you get something, instead of it going into your discard yeah. pile, it actually goes into your hand, which is great. So, okay. now I've done that action. I've done that action. I spent my stuff. Uh, unfortunately, that is... Uh, I really feel like I should buy my harpies again. But I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to be patient. Sort of. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, on to my turn. I have to make a decision between staying there or moving. I'm going to stay right where I am with my ally. I'm going to go ahead and collect the resources from that location. Give me a double die roll. Mm-hmm. see what we get. Oh, wait. No, resources. It's like, what are you doing? Yeah. I would like six coins. I don't know if that's the best pick, but... It Six feels, coins feels right. Feels really right. Over stone. You've because got I'm, plenty. I'm going to go ahead and then build my city hall, preparing mm. for a mid game a little bit. That's going to be 10 coins. It's also going to be four ore and one. No, and no gems. But at the beginning of each resource round, 
choose four coins or increase your stat, your your lots for free. On a bronze character, yes. Is that a good thing? I think it's We've a good thing. We've only got a few rounds left. I just spent 10 coins to buy eight coins. We have a lot of rounds left. No, but a resource round. We have one, two, three, three of those left. So turning 12 into, turning 10 into 12? Yeah, that's, could be good. I'm not buying you. that, I'm not buying Oh, it's too late, you've already spent no, it. No, 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 give it back. <sighs> I think for a late game, I think if you're playing into like, a like 15 to 20 round session. But you're also not, not thinking about changing those things into lots. That is big. The cost though is comparable to the four, I believe. No, 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 you just for free, turn it into a lot. Oh, I could turn a wraith into a lot. Yeah. It's a cost of eight. You don't have to pay it at all. So that you're, you can upgrade those things very quickly. So that's totally worth yeah, it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. That makes sense. I'm glad you listened to me. Uh, <laughs> anything else I immediately want to build? Oh, the magic guild. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and also build the magic guild. That's mm -hmm. going to be four coins. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to give me a change of two coins. That's also going to be two stone mm -hmm. and one gem, which I have plenty of. The magic guild is going to be an instant action of drawing two magic items and keeping one. Mm -hmm. I do not have the five coins necessary to draw another one. Interesting. I like this a lot. I'm going to take this, place it out of my tableau. This one is going on the top of the deck in case you want a magic item that gives you defense. I feel like I need it these days. I I'm not know. going to tell the audience what I upgraded though. Mm. And now I'm going to start initiating my movement. Mm -hmm. See where I want to go. Ooh, the keep right next to me is actually going to be a defensible zone uh, that counts towards endgame, doesn't it? Uh, the one to your left? Yeah. 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 It's also a five. I'm going to start by exploring. So let's open up this just a bit. Let's see what this tile has on it. Gold Shrine. Ooh, what's this? There's two locations there we're not, so we're this not is, familiar with. This gives you um, half of a level. And this gives you... Ooh, I don't know what that is. Yeah, you're right. All right. So uh, the Learning Stone gives you half, gives you half a level. Okay. Uh, and then the flip this page this way. Oh, and this Redwood you Observatory. Redwood, yep. Discover any tile adjacent to the tile the hero is currently on. That's nice, but not as valuable in this game because Correct. in this game we don't need that. Yep. All right. Where are some more level ones that I could battle? Uh, level ones are only on your actual location. The very first one back where your first guy is. There was technically a level one here when mm -hmm. I went to it. I should have fought that one, theoretically. You only you can only get level ups. Well, you can do that with your... your I'm saying my, yeah. my, my ally should have fought that one, technically. Oh, you just took it without it ever... I did. You didn't catch it, and I didn't ah. see it because the glare. I see. That's okay. Hmm. It ended up just being resources, mm -hmm. which is what I ended up taking the next time anyway. I see. Yeah. Uh, I kind of want to fight a level two. I don't. I don't want to start messing with these higher level locations. You can <sighs> do that, but you can't reach it with your main guy. You're too far away. I can reach it with my main guy. Stepping here. Stepping here. Oh, you're going there. Got it. Okay. Into a level two. I hope this just destroys you. And let's go ahead and fight. <laughs> What'd you get? Same combination. Uh, same combination. Yep. So halflings, and then the rogue. You have to remember, though, I have a wraith, mm -hmm. I have a cloak, Yep. I have a zombie. This is true. And I have a handful of cards. Yes. So first things first, uh, my ranged halfling yeah. is going to... Oh, where is he going to shoot? It's not going to shoot, actually. You do, it's not? I'm playing down a power card. Okay. I'm following up with a slow card. Great. Your ranged halfling is now going to have a... Initiative of uh, down Minus for two. two. Okay, so he's gonna have initiative of four. So we're gonna put this die here just to show it's a four. Yeah, great. So now my rogue's gonna go first. The only thing is I can't reach your range halfling in time. Hmm. Uh, Either way, uh, yeah, rogue's going first. Now the question is, does he fight your zombies or does he take the top off of this guy? 
Hmm. Neither would be my preference. Yes. So I hear what you're saying. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna shoot for the for the fences here and aim for him. I'm also gonna play a knowledge card like you played. Okay. Giving me slow back into my hand. Great. Love it. That's great for you. Now let's see if I can roll better than a negative one when it's not my turn to actually fight. And I can. That is going to be a three, which would be enough to get through. And now your cloak is gone. Disappointing. Yes. But you do get to retaliate. Understandable. I will retaliate with violence. Great. Glad to hear that. Uh, and uh, so that's a two. And one damage. I take one point of damage. Fantastic. I like it. I love it. I want more. Of it. Okay. Okay. And now, yep, your uh, wraith gets to go. So my wraith is going to step forward here. Mm -hmm. It's going to go ahead and attack over. Looking attack three. Mm -hmm. uh, whenever this unit is about to activate, remove one damage from it. Uh, zero, three coming in, minus one, two. That's going to be enough to take out the rogue. That is correct. I like you being down on your foot. I very much dislike that. You should have had negative one just like me all the times. My skeleton then gets to go next. Mm -hmm. Skeleton sadly cannot reach you. This is true. How much damage might you be able to do? Three would be the potential. The max, you yeah. Could, you could pop one of my characters. But don't forget, I do get to roll two attack dice. You're right about that. Yes. With a very tactical roll, I could actually subvert this. I'm going to go ahead and play this, dropping you to a three. <laughs> okay. That allows my zombie to go ahead of you. All right. My zombie is going to move forward twice. If I get a plus on this, you, I take you out. You do. Yes! Yes! Ridiculous. Oh, that was clutch. Ridiculous. Right, pick up my... You're very lucky. Pieces. That was big, Wes. That was very big. You did a good job. Because you could have got rid of my lots. I definitely could have. And I don't want my lots of lots to be gotten rid of. This is very true. I've got to got right. my lots of lots. So you will get to do... Uh, you get to roll two of these dice. Yep. And then you get to choose one. Ooh, a relic or a single reward die. Yep. We're going that. for a relic. Very smart. Uh, Shield of the Awning Dead, you would not show your enemy the cards you're drawing for mm -hmm. the record, but I think it's interesting to show people what we're getting here. Discard one card to gain plus two shield or immediately gain one shield. You want to do, do the voice on that? Absolutely. <clears throat> your units discover an eerie shrine dedicated to the undead. You bless the shrine, causing the stone shield emblem above the altar to crack. Beneath it is a real shield, which you decide to remove from its unholy nice. location. This goes into my hand, and we're in a good position. Now, my turn's not quite over. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and play my inexhaustible cart of lumber mm -hmm. to gain four stone, because I'm going to remove this card from the game. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Four stone and pausing to rest and light a cook fire, you pull wood from a nearby lumber cart. As you keep pulling wood from the cart, you notice the cargo does not shrink. You realize, to your delight, that the cart is enchanted, so you bring it along with you on your journey. But I'm going to literally dismantle the Just cart. Just take it apart. You're like, nah, I got this. Magic? Nah. Remove it all, y'all. So out of the game. Okay. And uh, let's continue. All right. Is that the end of your turn? That is... I currently still only control one shine, I believe. Uh, one mine? Yeah. yeah. But I do level up, which means my hand size will be moving to five. Yep. And do I have any other? I don't have any other mines. I'm not getting any other resources. Nope. Okay. All right. So now we go to another astronomy phase. We don't want another astronomy phase. I would like something better than just an extra movement. Astrometers proclaim week of the groovy satire. Whenever you trigger combat with a neutral unit, you can discard the first neutral unit card and draw another neutral unit card instead. Ooh. Are you familiar with Avli Melodies? Sorry, no. Oh well, that's good because this probably won't sound anything like one. <laughs> All right. Here you are. Interesting. Set yep. Set that here. This is still active, actually. No, that goes away. It's our new astronomy This phase. is, oh, yeah, two yep. rounds. So this is now covered up. Yep. All right. So I didn't gain any more 
goods, but I really need to is the problem. What are you thinking? So I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and go over here because now I'm allowed to do that, or I could just stay in the same location, roll two dice That's what and I did. get something better. The resources were nice. But I really, really like the good stuff and getting more things because, well, we all know what's gonna happen next. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna roll the relic die because let's just hope for the best. I got a resource. <laughs> Some resources. Hey, three, three money. Coins. I'm okay bad. with that. I'm okay with that. Three it's more money. It's not six, but it is three. It does give me six now, which is good. Is that what you needed? I don't know, really. Um, I was kind a of lot hoping of things. For, for, for that. Um, because to build this, I need eight, so I'm still short. But I can upgrade my harpies and do lots of harpies, so that would be six. Um, and then my harpies would actually do three points of damage, which seems like their downfall so far. Uh, That's a so, lot of damage. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pay my six to upgrade my harpies. If you wouldn't mind throwing that over there in the in the poll, violence does not become you, Wes. I also disagree with that. Um, and here is what I'm going to go ahead and do. Uh, let's see. One, two, and three. What? Yeah. We're fighting? Oh, yeah. A hundred percent. We're definitely fighting. For sure. Yeah, because I don't Why want do you... Why do you always do this? See, here's the thing. I don't like that you're all the way out here stomping on my turf, and... I want all the stuff in here, so you need to GTFO. That's my tile. It is not your tile. No, that tile is it literally... It may have come I from your literally location. literally discovered that tile. But see, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to discover another tile down here in a moment. No, you're not, because that's going to get into our card area. Uh, yeah, I'm going to 100% discover a tile down there so that it messes up your filming shot. That is guaranteed what I'm going to do. You realize I'm going to murder you. Because I said when we started filming, what was it I said? I'm I gonna, said, hey, you know, sometimes we might have to put things down here. I'm going to murder you so bad. I know. I know. Talk. It's going to be great. I love it. It's going to be awesome. The amount of murder that's happening right now. Yep. You will suffer. All right. And you will so die. So there's my ranged. And you here's will my flying die knots. And here are my troglodytes. Pain. Like you've never <sighs> felt before. Okay. The unfortunate thing is that I don't really have a whole lot of great cards in my hand. Neither do I. Initiative five. Yeah. So uh, initiative nine. Uh, what? Yeah, my harpies are fast. They're super fast. I didn't hear you say that when you mentioned their attack was going up. Yeah, they're super fast. Uh, so, let's see here. If I play this correctly... You could lose I could quickly. get two kicks in fast. So, uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do harpies to here. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, no. If I do harpies to here, then that person dies. Do they? Mm-hmm. Do yeah, they? they're going to. Uh, are you playing any cards, sir? Uh, I believe you initiate cards first, and then I follow with defense. Yes. So I'm assuming that means you're not playing cards. I am going to play this card to give me a five oh as my, my attack. Oh, gosh. What? Yeah. I'm counting on you to roll a negative one. And also playing something else, because that still gets me to four, which is enough to get through you. The only investment I've made has been zombies. Right. Killing me here just puts me back to neutral ground, and I'm fine with that. Right. Now, granted, I do take a shame. Mm -hmm. And you'll reveal a secret of mine to the audience. Yes. Which I don't prefer. Uh-huh. And I take money from you. Greybeard. <laughs> <laughs> Greybeard. That is so bad. Uh, okay. <sighs> All right. Uh, Shield of the Yawning Dead is going to be played. Okay. Following with a discard of a card which allows me to buff my defense by two, meaning if you roll a negative, I survive, sir. <sighs> oh! Death! Death! Accursed are you among all mortal men. I love it. It's fantastic. Okay. So that goes into my discard pile. So great. Now... It's a fair play. It was a fair play. Really I thought good. I had that. I, I thought your, you did based too. Based off your luck. Really, my, my rolls have been so bad today. Yeah. 
All right, so here's the next great thing that's gonna happen is this is a five and that's a three. This is a five and this is a five. So I have two opportunities um, to do something really good and, and try to You also you. though could consider not doing anything at all? I could, I could, I, I very much could. Consider it. But I think what I'm going to do to, to be you smart. you always go wrong, it's the thoughts, man. It's it, the thoughts it, that it's, you always mess up. It's the thoughts that make it worthwhile. Don't think, just don't act. It's I think that's the, how that goes. I think that's not how that works. Don't think. It's okay. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna play my dragons card uh, and I'm gonna increase the uh, the power of this particular shot so she's now gonna be at a five um, which I think is great and she's gonna fire off you doing any sort of defensive stuff with your last card yep okay yes so that this you is a got. so I've got a plus one, which means that is now because uh, she was already plus one, she was at four, so now it's a five, which means uh, that was four that goes through. So two, there's uh, two more left, and then that flips over, and those two are gone as well. So now that whole thing is taken out. Fantastic! I love it for me. And now my troglodytes get to go before my boop, zombies. Boop. Down they go. Zombies are powerful but slow. Very slow. It's because their brain power is a little on the slower side. It's okay though. By the way, I it. do ignore your plus one outcomes though. Do you? Mm -hmm. That's good. Um, I'm going to discard my angel wings so I can draw one more card in hopes of getting something decent. And I did. So I now have a four attack. Really? Yep. This flame tongue is becoming a problem. Yep. So as long as I don't roll a negative one, then I'm okay. There it is. Wow. I just got embarrassed. Zombies go back on the top of my deck. The other two are here. My skeletons will remain lots. And I move back to, to the my beginning. Base. And now, we also must make sure that we go through all of the steps of shaming. I don't want to go through the steps I of shaming. I uh, take seven of your money. Oh my gosh. I don't have seven money. I take all of your money. That's so great for Every me. Every last bit of it. Every last penny. And now you take a down morale. Uh, so let's see, Mr. Double Chin, if we have anything else oh. to talk about. Oh. For the record, we are in a weight loss I'm competition. I'm working on it, man. And I've lost almost 20 pounds. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and some people are now back at their starting weight. All right, weight. listen. My starting weight was a solid 207. Right, this is true. And mine was significantly higher than And that. I, over the first two months of our weight loss journey, went up to like 211. You did. And I'm back to a comfortable 206. So we're <laughs> one pound below. So much better. So much better. I've lost five pounds. You have. And so technically, I lost 20 pounds, then I gained five pounds, and then I lost that You're five pounds again. You're 25 pounds down. 25 pounds down. That's just amazing. Like that. Incredible. Yeah. So good From for the, us. Between the morning and the evening, I lose a pound a day. I lose that at about nine o'clock in the morning. Yeah. It's real good. It's amazing. It's a nice, yeah. nice time. The shame worked. <laughs> I hate, I hate. Oh, this? Yeah, that's... The worst. It's almost as bad as my gray beard. I don't <sighs> try liposuction on mine, though. This is true. Whereas your dye, it works though. It does. Yeah, it does work. So I need would, to, to re up it though. So would lipo. <laughs> yeah, it would too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where are we going? <laughs> okay, uh, so now I'm almost finished with my turn because now I have four monies and I feel like I should do something else, but. Uh, all I'm gonna do is buy my Medusas back. Or no, I can't buy Medusas because I have all my three of my left. I'm good. I'm done. That's all the shame. That is. That's all the line. shame I'm gonna induce on you. It's fine. I, I don't need to uh, to do anything else. I feel like I've done a great job. Okay, my turn. Mm -hmm. Starting from a disadvantaged position. Oh, and now that's me. So I believe. Oh, it's been used, so I don't think I get to do it. I don't think so. I think it only refreshes. No, I did. I take it. I take it over, so I get to do it. And you just can't do it. You okay. can't do it again. Okay. So yeah, I get to do that. Ha! I get my other half level. I also get a level for beating you, and I get the other half level. So I'm now at level five. I'm not. 
I was humiliated once just by the AI. So I feel like I've <laughs> earned have, that. Do you have cards that go into your deck as you go across level four? Yes. As we go across level four, uh, I will update. And now not only do I have the original one of those, but now my dragons, I have a forever effect, or at least for the rest of the combat. Uh, my selected unit, uh, their health is increased by one. And obviously, if it were on a dragon, it would be by two. All right, my ally is going to move into the treasure chest location. We conquer it immediately because we're already above level one. I actually like that mechanic that you don't have I to keep too. fighting the scrappy people. Yep. Uh, at the treasure chest, I'm going to be rolling one of these die. Oh. Half level, half level up. Very nice. Not quite, not quite perfect, but good enough. And I'm looking for, I think... Uh, an encampment near enough to me that I could go ahead and conquer it. Hmm. Let's take a look. Where's the rule book? Let's take a look at what places count in this scenario. Yeah, so it's all just the mines, which will be at the very front here. So, so all these the pieces. oval mine, the river, the gold mine, the crystal mine, or the alchemist's lab. Yep. Are any of these close enough to me? The alchemist's lab is sort of close. It's, it's still four away, though. It's four away, which means yep. I won't reach it unless I had a card to play. I do need to go ahead and draw up, though. So I've got five. Take a look at those in just a moment. Man. That Alchemist Lab is a five, however. Just be aware it's pretty strong. Yeah, I don't know that I can conquer it. I'm going to have to move over here to this relic, okay. fighting a level two. A level two, which yep. I believe is two. Uh, so here's we've got one I have to shuffle... Uh, our amazing characters. Hopefully it's not all boars for you because I know how much you love those. I love those. Okay. Let's see what we got. Fighting against your base units. Mm -hmm. We have our favorite halfling and rogue. Back at it again. They're a solid squadron. They are. They really are. Okay. Top of the lead is going to start right. with both of them. The halfling is going to aim his two points of damage at... Oh, he's going to aim it at your wraith. And so uh, two points of damage to your wraith. There we go. Initially seems like a problem. Mm-hmm. The issue that we will face here is that the rogue uh, can't reach you. Could reach the skeleton. He could reach the skeleton. So it will because, you know, it's a rogue. It's going to hide behind things. I know you specifically wanted to murder the wraith, but... Yeah, I really did. Uh, unfortunately, failed at that. There we go. Two points. So one point of damage goes to your skeleton. I get to respond? You do. Oh, plus Ooh. one. Is that a straight murder? That is a Holy straight murder. Holy cow. You retaliated and were like, yeah, you did. You're dead, son. You're dead. feel really good about that. I am yep. concerned about your rogue, though. I'm going to be able to take it out. Yeah. The question so. is, will I be able to take it out? So, like, one, two, three, and one, two. I mean, we're surrounding it. It yeah. is going to get to go first, though. It will. Yeah. Because I just don't, I don't have a thing that supplements that. That's so annoying. Yeah, and here's the fun part. So, the, the halfling is going to stay right where it's at, and then it could either... Take out the wraith, probably. Or pop the lots on the skeletons. Yeah. Which one would be more beneficial for me is the real question. Yeah, that's the question. Uh, I think, actually, uh, it's going to pop the, uh, well, hopefully, anyway. Hopefully, it'll pop the lots. Zero. Blocked so, by one. One more damage that does not pop the lots. It does, too. No. You have two points of damage. That pops the lots. Boom! I was looking at the three. I saw that you were looking at the three. Oh, which is fantastic. Mi amor, por qué? It's muy cruel. So, now uh, you can attack however you'd like. Yeah, I mean, murder is yeah. how I would It's prefer. a good try. Yeah. Wraith is going to move in there. Yeah. Three attack. That was a very aggressive throw. Messed up your You messed up everything. Board. Oh my gosh. But it does effectively murder your character, which is what I was going for. Yes. So sorry about that. I feel so guilty, Wes. I know you do. It's Horribly okay. guilty. Yep. In fact, uh, not guilty at all. I know. Not right. a bit. Also, also that could tell one that. just scattered across the top of the table there. Yeah. You took out my skeletons! I did. So. But I do get an ar artifact. I get a relic. That's correct. Up. I'm going to keep sharing these with people because I think they're interesting. Ogre's I Club of Havoc. So this is a second level item, which is really good. Do you go for an Ogre's Voice or do I go for an Ogre's Voice? I can I can do one if you want. 
Your call. I I'm happy to do it. I think it'll be fun. Pouch those cheeks. <laughs> like Dizzy Gillespie. At a roadside tavern, a drunken ogre challenges you to a fight. Not wanting to hurt the creature, you subdue him instead. You take his massive club from him, and you prevent it from him getting into any more trouble. Oh, that's great. That was a that's good, good ogre's voice. Good ogre. Okay, this will give me an instant action of discard one card to gain two attacks. That is really good. Or just a general plus That's one That's a really attack. good card. I like having that card in my hand. That is a really good card. Uh, I do think that is the end of my turn. Yep. I could spend resources on upgrades and nonsense like that, but West stole all my coin, and coin is important. Coin is important. important. Do you know what we really need, Jesse? We need uh, one of those little pokey shot sticks. Of whiskey. Because it's hard to reach all the way up there. You know, one day we'll get there, Wes. We'll, we'll be we'll be successful enough to get a pokey stick. Although you try to use like the gripper claw on a resin mini, I and you just break it. Really want to use a gripper claw, like a flamingo gripper would be so cool. That's what that's what we really need. Do our fans love us enough to get me a flamingo gripper? No, probably not. They don't. They don't. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. All right. Uh, so that's the end of your turn. I uh, self consciously must say yes. Good. Um, I, I like that. I do go ahead and move beyond level four, though, which is going to give me another card. Also good. Into my deck. Uh, in case you're curious about what that card is, Cloak of the Undead King. Mm -hmm. Another one that I can put on tops of lots of zombies, but this is going to be a relic king who's rising from the dead. You know, both of us forgot that we could change the people that we were fighting against in there, by the way. I That's think I'm okay, okay with who I, think I we got, did good. I yeah. would have fought them anyway. Yep. Hand or discard pile? Uh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. My cloak. Oh, that uh, that still goes into your hand. Hand? Yeah, into your hand. I think almost everything that you draw, if not everything that you draw, goes straight into your hand, yep. right? Just be careful at the beginning of your turn. If you're over your hand limit, you have to discard down. So it doesn't happen right now, but it does happen at the beginning of your turn. It hasn't happened yet. Yep. Oh boy. Definitely not going to happen next time. <laughs> All right. So I am now up to six cards, which is great. You thought about not... Um... This is going to be our resource round, Jesse. So uh, we're going to get... If you can slide me over ten coin, please. I'm going to do a very cool thing, West. Yeah? You're going to flip your wraith over? Nice. A valuation of eight... That's awesome. Moving my wraith to lots of wraiths. That's awesome. That's really good. Uh, and you get, we get, I get ten coins. You get ten coins. That's correct. I get four stone and one gem. You get four stone and one gem. Yep. Oh, and our decks are slowly becoming customized. Slowly, slowly getting there. We'll make it eventually. That's usually what happens. All right. Now, uh, we also need to really pay attention here to see where we're at as far as, like, number of mines. So far, I think I'm the only one that has a mine. Um, yep. Yeah. Which is less good. Um, it is more good. Hmm. Hmm. Is it? it? Is more good. It is more good? Okay. Mm. Um, oh. Plop? Plop? Nope. Those stay. They stay this time? Yeah. They stay because we're not on round six. Uh, that's fair. Round six, they come back. Um, so, my first thing I'm going to do is go over here, and I'm going to roll these two, and I'll take... One gem. One gem works for me. The next thing I'm going to do is look at how much money I have. I have a 12, and that means that I finally have enough to just build something, but I can't get any more people because, you know, why would that happen? Uh... It cost eight here to get my upgraded uh, inner labyrinth. Uh, so I will drop. Can you give me two more from there, please? Rather not. Okay. Thank you. So that means I have six coin left, but I also have to get rid of six of these and three of these. Whew. One more left. All right. Um, so that is six there and three here. Whew, that was expensive. But now I have access to my silver units. So we can show what those silver units are. Yeah, let's do it. So I have my Medusas here, which is awesome. Three, four, and one. It's pretty cool. I have my Minotaurs, uh, which would be uh, four, four, and two. Wow. 
Six and seven is how much this they is a cost. Valuable set of units you've just unlocked. It really is. So now I've got uh, I have a total of six gold. So six gold it is going back into the club, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and have my Bedusas. and they're ranged. Which Don't is love that. Great for me. It's great. Stay for away me. from you is what I'm hearing. Uh, no, you can come much closer. I like it. Uh, it's really great. So that puts a black one over here for this location. And let's see, where can I find another mine? I got a mine here, which I would auto win, which is good. Um, and I think I probably should do that. So here we go. Boom, auto mine, win, great, so good for me. And now I'm at two. Are you sure you don't want to struggle against them? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, I'm, I'm fine, thanks. Mm. Uh, definitely don't want to want to want to struggle okay your call man yeah all right so i get one extra thing there now for the following round okay my turn your turn sir all right let's figure out where my assistant's going to be going first yeah we got a movement of two mm -hmm. what does the witch witch's hut do for me again that's a great question uh the book's over by you i believe that it allows you to do something great that's mm. what i remember down there at the bottom the player draws one card from the ability deck, they then ability choose deck. to put it... Uh, yeah, did you want that ability card? No. Are you sure? There's Maybe. good cards. Oh. Let's do it. Let's let's check it out. Okay. Moving in, drawing one card from the ability deck. Yes, but you don't get... These don't go to your hand, this goes to your discard pile, just so yeah, you're yeah, aware. Yeah, they choose to put it in their hand, or place it on the face up in the discard pile of the ability deck. It just doesn't go to your hand because you're using your secondary character. Ah, you're right. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Let's take a look. I have earned wisdom. When buying spells from your magic guild, draw one additional spell card. Spells cost minus two for a discount. It's not bad. I also have to discard down to six. Yes. Which means I have to get rid of one card from here. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my petrified breastplate. Now, my main character. What am I actually able to conquer and own. Is there a guild in range? I don't think there is. A mine? I don't see a mine in range. Um, the windmill is not a mine, right? Nope, doesn't count as a mine. Yeah. So I'm actually gonna go one, two, three onto this okay. tree. Yep. That tree allows you to do something awesome again. Yeah, it lets yep. me discard. Which I remember being a really good thing. Oh, it's it was like the one that we really liked the most. It's always the one that I've really liked the most. Yeah, the Tree of Knowledge. There you go. The player's main hero may choose to pay three valuables or ten For gold level to up. level up. That's awesome. Three valuables are just our gems, right? That's correct. So I'm going to pay three of our gems. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and level up above a level five. Okay. Hand size is now six. That's amazing. Uh, how did you see? That's disgusting. You're ahead of me now. Uh, now Ridiculous. the question is, was I spending money on anything else? How did you get up that high? Ugh. And I think I am going to go ahead and look into spending money on uh, my mausoleum domain. I don't have three gems. Mm. I just used them. You could go back down. No. Mm. No, I don't think so. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and invest in zombies. For two gold, uh, can I upgrade them? Do I have that ability yet? Where's my no, you don't have ability? a citadel. Citadel will be eight coins. I'm going to buy a citadel and I'm going to buy my zombies. So eight coins plus two coins. That'll exhaust my money. Five stone. Mm -hmm. That'll bring all my stone. And one gem. I now have the ability to upgrade my zombies and I'm back up to having three characters in action. Uh, instead of just the two. All right, that's my turn. I feel pretty good about that. That was a good turn. Any cards that I wanted to play? I don't think so. So you can go ahead and go. You can go ahead and go. Okay. I mean, I will play this beforehand. Okay. Uh oh, this has to go on. Never mind. What an interesting twist. Ah. Uh, so now it is an astrodom astrology turn. Astrologers proclaim week of dead silence. Nothing changes. Hello, silence, my, my old friend. friend. I've, I've come, come to, to chat, chat with you again. 
Because of vision softly creeping. Left so it's... if this says nothing changes, does that mean that the other one stays on? I would vote in favor of that. Hmm. Nothing changes. Okay. That has been in existence. So now we unless, still have the unless the rulebook specifically canceled that card beforehand. It doesn't have anything in there. So no. one extra hand draw. Is that right? Uh, no, it's the one that allows you to change the oh. people you're fighting. Manipulation. Yeah. And a vision that, that has drifted in my brain still remains. Because that's the sound of silence. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, I really need to go farther than I'm going to be able to go is the thing. To reach me? So, we've <laughs> said that... All right, we need a ruling on this. Yeah, yeah. If I take my secondary person and I go to this tree, does it level me up? No. Okay. That's a very easy ruling, and you knew it when you asked the question. I was just going to ask no. in case. No. You know, because it could have. No. But it could have. But it doesn't. But it could have done such a thing. Yeah, if I go rub a tree in the forest, does it help you? <laughs> it should. <laughs> it should. That's all I'm saying. It should. All right. Uh, so I guess I'm getting closer with this guy. Which is great and all. Um, I don't have any money, so I can't do anything. Ooh, ooh, very, I stole Jesse's money. And very don't have frustrating. Any left. I spent it all at the market on. Very conflicts. frustrating. Um, the next question is. For the record, I'm gonna have a spoonful of peanut butter and marshmallow fluff tonight. <laughs> Are you really? And I'm proud of that. Okay. It's It'll fair. be the emotional cleansing from the abuse you've subjected me to by revealing <laughs> that I'm self-conscious about my double chin on camera. All right. Uh, one, two, and three. I'm going to go here, automatically kill it. That leaves me with the opportunity to do multiple things. I believe that adds five coins to a round if you want to do that. Or it can add more stone or something else. I'm going to make it add five more to me. So I now own this extra keep and I can make wow. some more money. Five is your trigger too, right? Yes. Oh, oh, wait. I forgot. We're on round six. That means all this stuff came off. So let me undo all of that things because that's not what I want to do. I mean, that move probably is still what you want to do. That's definitely not what I want to do. Really? Yeah. Uh, because all these black things come off. Mm -hmm. I don't know if all of them come off. We're saying all of them come off because in our particular round, it's weird. There's lots of things that come off. So uh, now that opens everything back up again. I'd really like to fight the fives. What? Can you tell me what the five is, please? You're not going to hear it. I know I don't want to hear it, but I'm just interested to see what happens. Level five. Yeah. Level five is going to be one bronze, two silver, and one gold. So one bronze, two silver, and one gold. You just repeated what I said. You will die. I will but die. I'm okay with you trying. Yeah, I hear. Actually, I would encourage it. And what does this little waterfall give us again? The lovely little waterfall I know it's we'll put you in a position of picking three cards from your discard pile. They choose one to place mm. in their hand, shuffling the remaining two cards back into their discard pile. Okay, so I'm going to go here and I'm going to roll two resource dice and get six gold. That is amazing because with that six gold, I'm not going to be able to do what I want to do. Doggone it. Well, dag nab it. All right, but I will take the six gold. And that's gonna go there. Okay, so I've got some monies. I have some things. Mm. And what is- How much things do you have? Not enough of the oh, things wow. is the problem. Oh, the pain. So yeah, I'm probably gonna go over here, unfortunately, and take that stupid thing. So it'll be five additional money, which I already did. And I'll be frustrated with my turn, but it is what it is. My turn? Unfortunately. Now, if I go to a location that you've already conquered... Hold on. One last thing I want to do. I'm going to put this final piece down right here. That's fair. Yeah. You're going to mess up my video. Right there. 
if I go to a location you've already conquered, mm -hmm. I just take it over from you if you're not there? What do you mean? If I went here, yeah, I would take that over. That's correct. Okay. Yeah, so I, I control two mines <sighs> right now. Three. Two. One, two, three. That's not a mine. Why'd you put a purple cube on it, then? Because it's my house. Oh, that's a keep? It's a keep, yeah. Oh, I see. Well, that's annoying. Yeah. All right. My turn? It is. Where am I spreading? I need mines. Yep. And I need mines basically yesterday. Mm-hmm. Where are the available mines on this board? So I see. So one thing, one, just so that you're aware, I can pay eight gold and defend that if I really wanted to, but okay. I, I, I'm not going to. One, two, mm -hmm. uh, three, yep, four, five. Yep. Are there only five mines available, as far as we can tell? Um, one, two, three, four. Isn't there one here? Yeah. So six. There's six mines. We might be missing one or two along the way as well. So my assistant is going to step over into this location. That is a level five yep. ruby mine. I am above level five. No, you're not. You have to be a half. full level. All right. Pause. <laughs> <clears throat> Darn it. Yeah. Uh, I thought about it. Then I'm going to move one, two, three. Okay. I'm going to fight a level five. Are you really? And then I'm going to take over a level five spot on my own. And then you're going to die. That's what I'm hearing. I'm not going to die, West. Okay, so one bronze. Now, let's read this card carefully. What exactly does it say? The very first one I can discard. Okay, so here's your very first one. It's a rogue. Is that what it says? Uh, <laughs> Whenever you may trigger combat with any neutral units, you can discard the first neutral unit card and draw another. So it's a rogue. A boar would be better. Mm-hmm. But a, a, one of those halflings would be worse. Let's keep the rogue. Okay. Uh, and you oh, said it was... Oh, no. It was two silvers and two golds? Uh, no. Two silvers, one gold, I believe. I thought it was two and two. Two and one. Two and one. Okay. That's still a lot. Show me my victims, West. <sighs> okay. So we've got a rogue. We have nomads, which are three... Oof. Oh, and initiative seven. High. And then we've got some mummies, which are also pretty okay. nasty. And then we have an enchanter. Uh, Ranged. Ooh. I did not want to range. With the seven. Oh, good luck, man. It's brutal. Good luck. All right, go ahead and set them up there. Yep. We have zombies, initiative three. That's going to put them down here. Wraiths here at initiative seven. Skeletons here at initiative four. My skeletons are not even lots. One nope. second, West. One second. This is uh This is gonna be fun. Oh, this is gonna be kinda brutal. <sighs> Good thing you used all your money though. Okay. Alright. Uh starting with initiative seven. Mm -hmm. Seven seven. You beat me by one. Who are you acting with? Okay, uh, the first thing that this ranged is going to do here is go after your wraith. I hate that. Okay. Yep. So we've got uh, negative one. Minus so one. it's only three going into. So it's uh, three points of damage there. So you can flip that lots oh, over. Oh, no! It's too late now. <laughs> no! It, you, it's already done. What? Flip your lots over. How dangerous is that? Which one went after it? This one here. What is its ability to? It's, it's a, oh, its ability here is also when this unit uh, is about to activate, remove up to two damage from her. Uh, friend, from ooh, from any friendly to Yeah, it's unit. a healer. I'm going to get annihilated. And technically, otherwise, Enchantress gains plus one, so you take one more off of that. Ooh, I'm so glad you mentioned that. That's great. My Wraith drops to initiative five. Yes. Your next seven gets to go. So that will be my awesome nomad. Every here. person is going ahead of me. I am going to go ahead and advocate victory. My zombies have died. My Wraith <laughs> is back to normal. My skeleton is refreshed to lots of skeletons. Yes. And I am returning to my home base. Yes, with your tail in your hands. <clears throat> that 
was maybe more cruel than I had expected it to be. That was rough. Holy cow. Yeah, that's rough. That was amazing, though. Yeah, it was really cool. All right. Um, I'm going to have my little seahorse here move back to this location, mm -hmm. and I'm going to go ahead and roll one of those dice and see if I can get another level up. Oh. A relic. A relic, but it goes into my discard pile instead of my hand. It does. The uh, centaur's axe. Yeah. Triple the attack dice outcome? That's not bad. It Unless it's negative good. three. Could be good. Holy cow, West! That was rough, man. That was really rough. And yet great at the same time. Also very great. Yeah. All right, so now it's a resource round. So I'm going to get 15 gold, please. And wow. I get uh, four. And you get four. I still get 10 gold. You still get 10 gold. Still get four, four, and one. But I do have the ability to go ahead and upgrade my Wraith back up to the Super Lots location. That is true. Which I'm excited about. Yep. And it is your turn, top of the round. Okay, so now that I have some monies... I wanted two locations so bad. I, I know you did. It was it was really good. Uh, it was it was very valiant of you, as that a matter of fact. That was terrifying. Okay, so I've got 23 gold to play with right now. Uh, and if I'm... Let me see if I can do this math correctly here. So I need uh, to do my ancient layers. I have to pay 10 gold. Okay, and nine and four, and I, I have that. Okay, good. Now, uh, what? What is it going to cost to bring out? Um, I have two different types of dragons that I can bring out. You got here. two dra? No, that's not a dragon. Oh, that a scorp is that's a what? that's a griffin. That's not a griffin. What's the one that they have? It's with a the lion, yeah, lion dragon hybrid. Yep. And someone in the comments is already screaming it at us. But I'm not going to remember what it's, it's called. It's a blue crab way! Yeah, it's, you're 100% correct. It is. I saw that movie where they were, you know, that Pixar did, um, where they went to the tavern with with one of these in it, and it was it was her name. It was it was her tavern, and she, yeah. For, forlorn? No, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So I can do my black dragon. Forlorn? It was. It's not that. It's something else. It's a hippogriff. Nope. Maybe. That's a horse. Oh, yeah, right. definitely not. Yeah. Uh, that's Harry Potter. Uh, so it would be 20 to get a dragon. I don't have enough to get the dragon, but I do have enough to get that Scorpio Searors thing, which is pretty amazing. Scorpio Searors. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that thing because that is like all my money minus. You're not doing a dragon? You're not saving for a dragon? I will, 11 initiative, my man. I will get a dragon eventually, don't you worry. Dragon is the most royal beast I've ever seen, and I've looked into your eyes. <sighs> I will. I will get it eventually. So I need to pay 9 here to for my ancient lair. Dragon. Not on top of your deck, like I threw it. Well, you threw it there. I feel like I earned it if you threw it there. Preference would be not. No? no. Okay. Strong preference against, actually. And 4. All of it's there. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, great. I'm I'm so excited for that. I now have no more monies. Here you go. You can put that away, except for three. I have three monies. That's something, right? Something, maybe. No. Okay. It's not um, really the thing. Now, here's the real question. I'm gonna go here and see if I can't get half a level as well. I'm gonna gain some resources and be very happy about six gold because that brings me back to nine now. Could you have got Four. the dragon if you started with that? No, no I'm still, still one short. Gem. Yeah, I'd still be one short, plus I don't have the gem. Uh, but is there anything I can lots? No, not with where I'm at. Okay. <sighs> With violence. All right, so I'm going down here. I'm going to auto-kill this mine, and yeah. it's now going to belong to me. You're up to three. I am now up to four. This is bad. You're up, no, you're up to three. Three, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Which is bad, because in the position we're in currently, if if we hit round nine... I win. I lose. And that mine allows me to have five gold, so I'll take the five gold now. And guess what that allows me to do? Do one more. Ah, so good. 
Okay, so now, now, uh, that's five. I earned six gold. I didn't get the other six gold. Can you give me the other six gold? Here, I can give you this so you can just uh, give me a ten. There we go. And then that brings me to fourteen. No, too far. Too uh, far. All right. So uh, here, just take all my money except for two. And now I'm turning my Medusa into lots. Lots of Medusas. Prefer less Medusas overall. Medusas are great. They're big they're preference. They're so wonderful. If you gaze into their eyes too long. And that will be the end of my turn. That was a good turn. I feel comfortable with that turn. I don't feel comfortable about anything. I happening. unfortunately don't increase my level, so it's less good. Okay, I'm spending six gold mm -hmm. to go ahead and grab zombies. Great. And flipping them immediately to lots. lots of zombies. Good plan. I'm then playing a card from my hand called... The Cloak of the Undead King, which must go on top of lots of zombies. Nice. Look at that. That's much better. Pretty good. That's much better. All right. You're going to go back and try to hit that five again? Oh, I got decimated, my you, man. You did. It was good. But now you've got lots of zombies, lots of wraiths, and lots of skeletons. But you're, I'm not, I'm not, lots, I'm lots not level lots. six yet, though. You're not. I need to defeat a level five, though, to get to level six. Or That's correct. I need to journey back to the tree. Where am I? No, your one in the middle is where you're at. One, two, three. How did I get here from the from? Where was I? You must. Have oh, I moved down and then I died. Yeah. Awkward. Yeah. Very awkward. Oh man, this is rough. I only have five cards in my hand though, so I didn't get to draw one. Hmm. <sighs> to the tree is the answer. The tree is the answer. We both know that 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 is right. I am. <laughs> This is so bad. My assistant mm -hmm. is going to move forward and grab for me a magic item. Okay. A magic spell that goes on your discard. Yep. Yeah. Good. My main hero mm -hmm. is going to move forward to the witch's hut. Okay. Which gets me one of those stat cards. Oh, yes. There you are. It's good for a person who's into magic. Classic sorcery card. Just what I always wanted. It does go into my hand this time. It does, yes. Um, and even though you it's know, man, six, it's fine because I'm going to be honest. Your turn. That's that's all I'm going to do. It's a good turn. And that feels like a really strong turn. Wow. Here is our next option. We've got an astrology card. Astrologers proclaim week of the Grim Warlock. The first spell card played in each player's turn oh. gets plus one power. That's, that's pretty good for you. That's pretty good for me. He was doing a lot of magic and me who basically does none. Okay. I can't believe they decimated me like that. That was awesome. It was actually. the most shameful thing I've ever <laughs> came across. It was great. And I've met you. <laughs> Oh, man. So here's the question. I feel like I could possibly take out that mine up there that's a level five. And if I'm able to do that, then that puts us at puts me at four mines. Really strong position. Yep. And I will level up, which is even better. It's what I really need. So it's a question of whether or not I can actually do it. I feel like I can do it. But it's going to hurt a lot if I don't do it. But let's go for it. One, two, and three. One, two, one. One, two, Silver, one. Go, uh, bronze. Yep. Silver, silver, gold. Okay. There's our first one. Some boars. That's good. Keeping it. That's good. Solid I don't get play. to change it anyway. Oh, that's true. Uh, here's our gold. Trolls. trolls. You could take trolls out. I could take trolls out. I'm okay with that. And silver, silver. Here are our two silvers. Sharpshooter and Nomad's not a problem. The Sharpshooter is going to be your biggest issue, I think. The back really of the nice. pack with a solid attack and a high movement value. You're going to put them on that side, though. Trolls is going to... I, I, I'm not from your... Oh, you're right. You're right, yeah. you're right, you're right. So, Sharpshooter goes back here. Nomad's pulls up to the front. Trolls is going to go slightly before them. And then Boars at initiative six there. Let's right. see how you match up. This will be one of the biggest battles of the game. So, Shira, if you're still watching at this point in time stamping, time stack. <laughs> big battle. Big. 
Big battle. BBs. This is this is the BB time. Big battle. All right, Medusa. Big battle. Uh, she's range. Uh, she is in a, a six though, so she won't go she's until before after, the sharpshooter. Yeah, but she's before for the boars. Um, it's true. Not before the sharpshooter, unfortunately. But my harpies will be before the sharpshooter. Mm, on a nine, you're right. Um, and I have my evil eyes here, so another ranged. It sits back here, which is good. And then uh, I do have my scorpisayers person, so they're at a seven. And then I do have my lots of troglodytes here, so I will get to go. You're not in a bad position. I will get All to right. go. Pull your harpies first. All right, harpies. What are you gonna do for me? Harpies, harpies, harpies. You have really targeting. Three. So if I, I there are three. Um, they could go here and at least do some damage. The problem is, is that they don't have a whole lot of power, uh, but they can start chipping away at the trolls, which are kind of scary. They could also, though, remove the boars in a single action, which would put you in a position where you have one less thing to worry about. Because crowded, a crowded board might be your biggest problem. It could be. It could be. But it also does leave the nomad them open for the nomads to kill. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I think... Uh, let me look and see if there's anything good in here that I might be able to do with my turn um, That would allow me to, to do something smart and intelligent wise even I've got some good plans here. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do before I do anything else uh, Is soften something up so I have the ability to do a magic arrow here and this magic arrow will do three points of damage Wow so I could do three points of damage right there to this guy. Uh, I think that's probably the smartest thing to do, unless them or the sharpshooters. Yeah, the sharpshooters. The sharpshooters are going to do three points of damage to the sharpshooter. And then with my uh, knowledge card, one more. Um, so I did use this as an upgraded card to do two off of that. But I'm going to take this knowledge card and play it, and the knowledge card will allow me to take this card back in my hand, playing it as an upgraded card. Wow, nice. And then I get to have one more option to play. So I get to play another spell. You're double down on it? Take I off sure the am. But I don't have enough power to do that. You don't have a discard card? Um, a lot of my magic cards just let me throw cards away. No, this one, it's just going to do one point of damage. Okay. But I'm just going to see if there's anything else in here. Toss me another two damage then. Yeah. We're sitting at four on our sharpshooters, which means your, your range might be able to take them out in the first cycle. Yep. So I think that was a good thing to do, a nice soften up there. Um, yeah. All right, so harpies are going forward. They're gonna work on those guys. So as long as, uh, I need to really upgrade them by one. Because I could potentially take them out, but I got nothing to do to, to do that. So we'll see what happens. Oh, plus one. Plus one, that was what I needed. Perfect. Take out the boars. Boars are gone. Nice hit. Yeah, that worked out well. All right. Uh, now it is sharpshooter turn. Who are the the sharp only turn? defense they have is a direct attack against your ranged character. It's not going to do a kill, but I think it's probably their best play. Yeah. Unless your harpies are a good target. Everyone's lots right now, though. Everyone is lots. Let's target your harpies. Sharpshooter versus hold harpies. Hold on, hold on. It wasn't a check. I, I have an option to play a card if okay. I really wanted to. I mean, I'm going to keep my roll, but... What was your roll? <laughs> I have it covered. <sighs> All right, I'm going to play plus one defense on my harpies. It was a good thing I did then. Plus one attack, four damage, still going to do three to you. It still does three, yes, but yeah. my harpies still are alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand. For... My own selfish reasons. It's better to have them not. Yeah, I know. Lots. I agree. Yeah. Uh, that's my play. You're going to be moving with your sevens now. Yeah. No, I've got a double seven. But I. Oh yeah. Okay. So one I'll of your sevens you. goes first. Which one? And then I get to use. I my think the troll's going to go first. Okay. We're going to move over. Okay. And I think. Do we punch your Scorpio in the face for the fun of it? No. Harpies are going to be punched in the face. You playing? Um, no, if you're going after Harpies, go ahead. Minus one, three damage coming through. That will be enough to go ahead and take out your Harpies. Yep, you kind of expected that. I did. You can't fight a level five without some damage happening. Pretty much, yeah. I'm okay with that. All right. 
So Your now, seven gets to go now. Here's the interesting thing. So this seven's going to go, clearly it needs to go here. Um, but I could move up and over here if I wanted to. Could. Um, uh, one thing that I am going to do is use my dragon on this one. So now my, uh, it's actually up at a seven as health. And it stays that way for the remainder of the round. So here we go. Plus one. That's a oh. six. Six going in. So that is one shy. Wow. That sucks. Okay, so now it's going to retaliate. All right, retaliation and... Please roll a negative one. Oh, this would be nice. Yes! Oh, no! All right, so it's three going in. That only does two points of damage to me. I'm very happy with that. Three points of damage would have put me in a position to actually take you out. But yeah, it would We're have. not going to have that. Nomads are going to go next. Yep. Pulling forward here. Okay. Now, their ability actually allows me to go ahead and move my model to an adjacent en enemy field, empty field, not, apl not applicable along other effects increasing movement. I have to decide if I want to attack your troglodytes mm -hmm. or go after my scorpiers or directly go after your scorpiers. I think I'm going to go directly after your scorpiers. I'm going to pop into that location. Three attack coming through. Okay. Would not be a clean and, kill. But I have retaliated with my scorpiers. So. Yeah. This would not be a clean kill, but it might add up. Yeah. So two damage, four. Wait, have I retaliated with the scorpiers? I don't think I did. I attacked, you retaliated, yeah, I so retaliated. they haven't actually gone yet. Yeah. yeah, so they get to retaliate. That'd be two damage on them, though, and if I get another action, that would mm -hmm. actually be very sweet. <clears throat> okay. Retaliate with a... Wait, no. Hold on. We broke in at weird times. So I attacked you, you retaliated. Mm -hmm. Now I go. Yes. With my nomads. Did I did I retaliate off of him? My trolls attacked... My trolls didn't attack you. My trolls killed your other person. That's right. That's where you're confused. Okay, that is where I'm confused. Okay, now I understand. So now... Retaliate. Retaliate against... You attacked? Yep. Okay, cool. Two more damage on you. All right, fantastic. If I could take out this big guy... Uh, so that's four damage going over to you, which is... To take me out. Is it? No. You still have one left. Ooh. No, no, no. It's not four damage. It's five damage. It's four damage because you have a plus one. Four oh, is yeah. Enough. Four is enough. Yep, you're right. Okay. Okay. Whew. All right. So You're going to have this. I'm very proud of you. Um, it's very... It's still close, though. All right. So Medusa is going to attack here. Ah, oh, Medusa has gone. Yeah. We're doing the sevens. Medusa is oh, going to attack here. All right, roll a negative, please. So she Zero does four. Flat. Four damage That's through takes me out. Enough to oh, go. Oh, yep. man. And now Evil Eyes is going to do its attack. No. <laughs> Why? Why do you do that to me? Oh my gosh, this is terrible, <laughs> Jesse. <sighs> okay. There we go. And what what are we are we in eight, round eight? But I didn't do anything. Yeah. We're in Yeah, we've got we're one, in round eight. one more we're round eight. Right okay. So Evil Eyes is gonna go uh three going in, which is enough to take you out. Only needed one more. <sighs> Good play. I can't believe I got that. Good play. Very nice. Okay. So that's enough to level me up. So I'm now at level six. And that is your six. fourth keep. That is my fourth mine, yes. Hmm. I don't feel like I'm doing as good as you. I feel like you're trying really hard. So hard. Yeah. But there's plenty of opportunity out there for you still. All right. Is it my turn? Um... Yes. Okay. I think the only logical thing right now is to have a final end showcase battle. <laughs> I'm going head to head against you. I knew that was coming. And this is how we're going to end this the, the video. This is how we're going to end the video? Because let's be honest. If I don't win this, 
and yeah. take your keep from you. Uh huh. I don't have a chance. Okay. Four keeps to one keep. Your mines. Yes. Yeah. Okay. If I take this and it's two to three, uh -huh. I'm in the game. You are in the game. If I lose this and I go back home, yeah. you've won. See, and that's good. And I only have one card left because I used all my cards. This is the perfect time. It's a good this time to attack. Time. But you have stronger units than me. I do. Uh, but I'm, I'm weaker than I was. All right. Okay, so I've got my Medusa out. Cloak of the Undead. And I've my got race. my Evil Eyes. Got my Scorpiers. And my Troglodytes. All right. Seven, five, five. Seven, six, five, five. My seven will go first. It will. Wraith. Mm -hmm. I want to start cutting through your back. Three movement forward. Attacking over to the evil eye. Okay. Do I play a card first? Because this could be a big decision. Defense, zero. Three health. Four attack coming through. That's actually a very comfortable place to be. Hmm. I think I'm just going to play a card. Okay. What card are you playing? Um... Play a sorcery card. Okay. At level two. Okay. Let's me draw a card. Okay. Gonna play a power card. Okay. At level one. So at base level? Yep. Okay. Puts my value at three. Yep. For my magic spell, magic arrow, which is going to strike directly into the heart of your Medusa. Okay. So doing two points of damage. Three. Two. Ah, uh, you got a defense. Yep. Now I don't. I can't play another card at the moment because that's my one action. That is for a your card. one spell. But my wraith gets to move in and still attack. Yes. Are you yeah. ready to do your attack now? I am. Yeah. You okay. Cool. Defense. Uh, I'm playing switch my cards. Oh! So go for it. Knock yourself out. Oh my gosh. Oh man. I don't get to play a card in response, do I? Nope. <gasps> this is bad. Negative one. So three it's only damage three. coming in, two damage coming into you. Yep. You get to respond. Oh, I my do. rates are. So, oh, man. This is. That was a good move. That's a plus, plus one, one. So that's a six. Oh, tell me the math. Your wraith is way dead. Uh, so you're. That's three that come off of this top. So you flip over. And then three again, so your wraith is completely dead. That was crushing. That was the only card I had in my hand. Good play, my man. That was a, that good was play. a perfect switch. That was a good play. Uh, I'm sitting at a five and a five. So now my Scorpiers get to go. Unfortunately, because I switched them, that's all you, they get to do. You did enough. It was good. It was very good. All right, so now my six gets to play. Yeah, ranged. And my range is going to go ahead and is attacking against your, against your skeletons here. Okay. Uh, one defense, two health. I'm not playing any cards. Okay. So four points going Three in. damage coming in. Skeletons are flipping to their backside and taking one damage on this side. I think actually you don't take any damage on the other side, though, because you still have defense on the other side. You did four damage to me. I did three. Yeah, I did four damage. You have yeah. one. Two health and one shield. Yep. One shield blocks it down to three. Mm -hmm. Two health blocks it down to one. One damage on this side. Okay, perfect. Uh, next. Uh, I've got a five and a five. Yep, so... No, I've got a five and a four. Mm-hmm. That drops my value of my five down, and you go and first. And I have two fives. Yep. All right, so my evil eyes are going to go next, and they're going to range to you. Uh, so they get three goes through. Three damage in, one gets blocked, two health through, skeletons are nantucked. Okay. Uh, I don't know if my character can hold on, but I'm going to certainly try. Uh, <laughs> five to five, I actually take initiative here. You do. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to go ahead and move two. Okay. Smart play. I am going to go ahead and play Ogre's Club. Discard one card to gain plus two attack. Awesome. I'm going to discard my knowledge card because I don't need it anymore. Yep. Sitting me at six attack. 
popping mm-hmm. through to you. This could be enough to take you it out. It could be. Uh, five attack, blocked five attack. by one, four attack, does still take you yep, out. Still takes me out. Good no job. retaliation. I that is exactly, once, I'm just saying, yeah. that is exactly what That's I need in this, exactly in this situation. Yep. Uh, Good plan. I still actually have a hope and a dream, and I know you don't think it looks like it, but I've got three cards worth cycling you underneath do. here. You do. Following through with your five. So, they're going to go up. Uh, three goes in. And uh, so you're two, you damage. two damage on top there. And you get to retaliate. Okay. Following through with retaliate. Now, when can I can I play a magic spell on a retaliation? A magic attack or no? No. It's not an attack. You already played a magic spell. Not on his turn. Doesn't matter. It's one magic Just spell per turn. Mouth. <laughs> that was a negative one, wasn't it? No, it was a plus one the whole time. Mm, it was a negative one on the roll. Yeah, Do I'm we sure count it because it, it wasn't on camera? No, I think it was a negative one because we I'll both know let, it was a negative one. That's true. We both do know that <laughs> was a negative one. Okay, so it's a three because it makes a huge difference here. Because it's a three going in, so that means it's two, which still flips me over, but... It's a big difference. It's a big difference. Okay. Yeah. All right, oh. so now it is whoop, next Initiative round. Initiative five. Your six will go first, then my yep. five will beat your five. You have the opportunity to play a spell if you want to. At the top of the round, do I? It's the next turn. Yes, but I'm not acting. Oh yeah, you're if, acting. You you only if you're if it's a if it's a defensive spell you can play no. it. No 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 yeah yeah yeah, yeah. No, okay. No. I don't have any defensive spells. <laughs> so my range is gonna go first, Medusa. Uh, oh so negative one on that three. three coming in will pop this off. Yep. For a value of one, no two total damage, so one damage carrying through to my lots of zombies. Yep. There we go. All right, you don't get to retaliate. I can hold on. My evil eyes. Oh, you're oh, next. Oh, it dropped me oh, to yeah, a four. So my evil eyes go next. They are gonna do three points of damage. Two damage in. Yep. So it flips you again. Oh, and it, it dropped dropped me to, to a, a three. three. Oh no! The, the good news is that my troglodytes can only do two points of damage. At best, they'll do three points of damage. Which will still only be two to you. Roll it. They only do one point, so it's negated. They do nothing. Nothing at all. All right. Time to play my play. My, Are my you retaliating card. against them? Absolutely. Okay, I am retaliating. Yeah. So you do nothing to them either. We're just okay. equal. You're like you're yelling at each other very loudly with angry voices. Okay. Sorcery. Okay. I'm play it at a level two, because uh, then I then get to draw one card, um, and it's giving me two sorcery spells. Mm-hmm. To power, yes. Yeah, yeah, Okay. Yeah. This is big. Magic. At level two does three damage. Taking out your ranged. How much is it? Three damage? Oh, yeah. Oh, Taking yeah. out your ranged. It flips me over. Yep, good job. Oh, I'm not going to have it, am I? Mm-mm. Okay, I'm then gonna attack across to your troglodytes. Okay. Do I go kill someone else? This is all I have. It is all you have. I think you should kill the troglodytes. At least then you'll feel like you did something good. Besides kill my very expensive scorpions and my harpies, which were already dead. I'm gonna move forward. One, okay. two. I'm gonna attack your evil eye. Okay. And this hope is, for a plus one? This is brutal. Playing this card. Okay. Uh, power level of one. Okay. Three damage. Hey. Four damage. There you go. I take them that out. That was enough. I've at least struggled to the finish line, my man. You have. And then This uh, has been a fun combat round. It has been a fun combat round. So now my Medusas are going to go. And they're at a four. So they will end you there. That was good. That was good. That was very good. I'm calling the game. Yep. Uh, you've got more control than me. We've got one round left, which means I cannot spread. That loss and your win was a crushing blow. Yeah. This was my only chance to bring the odds back into my favor. It's true. Both my characters then could have tried to move on to position mm-hmm. and stolen locations from you. You could. You definitely could have. <sighs> this was fun. It was very fun. This was a good time. I like the... Once this starts developing, mm-hmm. I really like the combat zone here. 
Yeah, this this is it's unique doing the, these two mats together. I still don't know that I would like to have the two mats like that. I kind of feel like a big longer mat might be better just because we were constantly doing this part. But you know, it's prototype form. And I kind of well, like how you get also, to keep the pieces You're also themselves. missing the fact that at some points, I think this map actually expands into like a 6x5 grid. Ah, that's true, you're right. Which means yep. you might have more chaos happening on the board than you Which assume. Which could be very cool. So, could be very cool. Yeah. Either way. Lots of fun. Thanks, Roger. Thanks for being here. Hopefully you've enjoyed this first look and uh, overview of <laughs> uh, uh, Heroes 3. Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever the case, whatever you do, get out and do the important thing. Remember to do the important thing. And remember to play get out more games. And play some games. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.